drink inside. Remember, uh, coconut gum. She's quick and nimble and quick and nimble and quick and nimble and quick and nimble. She's got style and a coconut gum. With a coconut gum. She's one cool gum. Revenge. Revenge. Was this another play stream? Nah, it's just just the intro when people are getting in. I think the microphone's too far away from me. Okay, is that better? Sure, Joe beat Jump King off screen. No, it was during the QA. There's a VOD. That's too loud. I loved your Disco Elysium stream so much, I changed my name to be an abbreviation of it. Oh, cool. Dis, Dis Ellie. I was watching your Dangarampa V3 stream on YouTube, but closed it so I can watch you live. Damn. Damn. Is Disco Elysium that strong? Maybe no chat for Disco Elysium? Uh, I don't really read chat during Disco Elysium, no. Not really that much. Any good dad jokes? Well, we have the dad joke calendar that we need to read through now. So, uh, Tuesdays will be the most dad joke heavy because... Um, you know, the, the weekend. So here we go. As a child, it was my dream to make a perfect bar of soap, but somehow it just slipped away. Yo, what? Saturday and Sunday get their own combined day? That's bullshit. What? Do these paper calendars usually do that? Wow, that sucks. Lame. Alright, so this is Saturday and Sunday. I have a hard time trusting trees. They seem kind of shady. January 6th, Monday. Why did the boy bring a ladder to chorus? He wanted to sing higher. And then today's. Did you hear about the houses that fell in love? It was a lawn distance relationship. Alright, there we go. There we go. Those are terrible. Those are terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Speaking of terrible... I just wanted to thank you all for getting snow halation stuck in my head since the last stream. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, anyway, so um, 
There's a new uh, reward for mo for mana coins. Um, it's uh, fifteen thousand coins. It's a new reward. Um, so the reward is. I will say on stream, your waifu is best girl. I will say on stream, your waifu is best girl. Provide the name of your waifu, and I will say your waifu is best girl and is the waifu of your name here. That's 15,000 mana coins. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Weebs, weebs, you could have official confirmation of your waifu best girl. Or you could save up just a little bit more, 5,000 more coins to take it off the Monocoin fund. I don't know. I don't know. Only two people have, have taken it off the Monocoin fund so far. I, I feel like I feel like the weebs don't want it. I guess the weebs don't care about a Yaya after all. They just don't care. Oh my god. Wow. 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 Unpossible car has redeemed Ayaya Monocoin Fund 20,000. Here's the thing though, the first time, the first time we took out a, we took off a million. We took off a million. And you all liked it. So we've established that I don't I don't have to take off the exact amount that's there. Who knows? <sighs> okay, so I will take out 20,000 and uh, if there's more of these today, then I'll wait until the end of the stream and I'll take them off um, in one big thing. But for now, I'll take off 20,000. Mark is completed. Manage rewards. And that is going from, and you just need to change the eight to a six. Easy. There we go. All right. Wow, it updates in real time. Nice. Nice. Wasting some highlighting so I don't accidentally click the IF on what a hero. Jarmanian, what a hero. I think there needs to be a 20k to fund reward, says Schleppel. I agree, Schleppel. Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should do that. I've been rewatching some of your old videos, and I gotta say that Outer Wilds is a game that solves. The most glaring problems you have with two games you reviewed. Hope you get around to it eventually. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing Underworlds. It's, it's really high on my list for playing. I'm really, I'm really, really looking forward to it. Fifteen K for adding a Yaya fund. Thirty K make it a war. <laughs> Is there another? There's another Yusuke art cop. That's beautiful. 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 So let's go through them in order. We're back to not playing games on stream. We're back on our bullshit, chat. We are back on our bullshit. The dad calendar just fell over. I just put some, I almost put some on the screen there that I really shouldn't put on there. Holy shit. Oh man, that would have been bad. All right. So first there was this one. Then there was this one. We don't deserve the art we got, man. We don't deserve it at all. And I feel like I'm going to have to shrink it to get all of them on the screen at the same time. Let me shrink it a little bit. Mm. 
Look at your best boy chat. Look at best boy. Look at this. Look at this. Look at your best boy with your special eyes. Whoops. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Thank you, Q2. Gorgeous. So as is tradition, the the new one will will replace our avatar in game, which we should probably jump into. Pickle tie. Pickle pickle tie merch one. Pickle tie. Okay, so I think we were in the pawn shop, right? So what's it been? Two weeks since we played this game? Three weeks? I can't remember. I'm playing Persona 3 right now and it's amazing. I keep saying memes out loud when I see them for real in Yusuke. <laughs> okay, so that's what our character looks like down here. Uh, you guys can't see my mouse, can you? No, you can. Alright, so this is what our character looks like down here. And we're going to just cover that up with Yusuke. The tie even matches. There we go. Does that look okay? Uh, it's covering up a little bit too much, but that's okay. Can you stop the story? I can watch the other streams this time. No, we will. We will. Don't worry. Uh, I'm going to run out and I'm going to I'm gonna go through right, that right now. Not just for, for you, but also for me because it's, it's been about three weeks and I can't I can't remember everything uh, off the top of my head. So I want to go through it and just make sure that I'm, I'm in the know. Is there a map? Uh, we haven't gotten a map yet. We have to buy it. It's like Hollow Knight. Will you someday play the is games? Yeah, probably. I, I would like to play them at some point, yeah. My girlfriend thinks Sunday is the first day of the week, which I do. Get another girlfriend. Monday is the first day of the week. Monday is the first day of the week, not Sunday. All right, so I think if we go into the, into the hotel room, it's going to progress time, I think. I'm not sure. So we're not going to go into the hotel room, but I just want to walk through what's happened so far. Okay, so... Um, oh, no, it might not. Okay. Oh, we have to pay for our room, don't we? Never mind. Okay, so um, here we go. So we woke up in this room, and we have no memory of who we are. We uh, eventually learned that we are a detective. And um, as we can see in our... Uh, what is it? Is it this one? I have to remember the buttons. Uh, tasks. All right, so here. So we're a cop, and as you can see here, here are our stats. Superstar cop, apocalypse cop, sorry cop, boring cop, communist fascist... Ultra liberal, moralist, good cop, bad cop. Uh, my people that we killed. This was before we became. We we woke up as this character. Um, so it's not it's not clear if we got drugged or if we just drank ourselves in such into such a stupor that we just wiped our memory clear. Um, and we woke up here, and uh, your skills and your brain and even some of your organs will will talk to you. I think it's your organs or parts of your body will talk to you, and it's your way of kind of uh, communicating with yourself and learning about who you are and maybe who you who you who you were but also who you've become now that there's a new entity taking over this body that's kind of a mix of the old and the new um because it's like an imperfect amnesia uh so this is our build um and so we've pieced together that we went on a big like drunken rampage we trashed the place it's not clear if we had a good reason for that or not uh there was a lady in here that we tried to sleep with and it failed um and uh we have made an ass of ourselves downstairs with the people that that run this uh is it a hotel or is it a hostel i can't remember i think it's a hostel right um and so we were sent here to investigate a murder and it hasn't gone all that well. I won't go over on every single detail that we did, but I will show the body and then I'll show you where we've been and then we'll continue. 
wrong. You tried to fuck with her. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's what we said. That's what we said. Uh, so the body's over here. Someone has been lynched and they have stormtrooper uh, legs on um, and we can't get the body down. And that's our new goal is to try and get the body down. We've inspected it, but we're trying to get it down. It was actually quite difficult to inspect the body because we have to go like level up. So we had the nerve to, um, to, uh, to inspect it or else we're going to throw, throw up. Um, so now our next goal is to get the body down from it. Uh, we tried to get it down by shooting at it and it didn't work. So now we're just going to try and find someone to help us get it down because, um, it's, uh, not easy and cops don't really have that much power in this world. Um, I'm trying to think of everywhere else we go. We went through, we went through this building here. We also went to the bookstore and we had an adventure there. Uh, talking to people can take a long time in this game. There's a lot of text to read and to go through. And, uh, as you can see these, these things here, you can in inspect them. And, uh, there's something down there that we need that we didn't look into either. Um, and we went up here, but if there's anything up here, we didn't go into it. And our partner here is... Kim Kitsuru, Kitsurugi, I think, or Kitsuragi. Um, so here's a, a um, skill check that we didn't do. So this is based on our Inland Emp Empire um, skill. And apparently this is a legendary 14. I don't really know what that means, but do we need to do 14 above it? Plus our score, maybe? I'm not sure. I don't, I'm not exactly sure what that means, but that's okay. Uh, we're not doing this because not every option is something that you're supposed to do. Um, you're supposed to actually role play and uh, exhausting all the character conversation, all the dialogue trees is something you can do, but um, sometimes choices are there for you not to do them, depending on what kind of character you are. Uh, we still are exhausting most of the character choices because it's just something I like to do when I play these games, but uh, you don't have to. Did we go back here? Oh, we never went back here before. Huh. This is a wall on the side of an apartment building. Conceptualization impossible. 18. Why am I looking at this wall? Failure. You have no clue. It's just a wall. Hmm. Okay. I thought that our conceptualization was stronger than that, but I guess not. Okay. Uh, so if you fail some skill checks, um, you can die. Uh, it can take away one of your morale points down here or one of your health points, um, and you can die from that. Uh, so far, there's no combat in this game. I, I severely doubt there is combat, and in fact, I hope that there isn't. Um, so uh, that's just... It's, it's, a, it's like... Um, it's very different from a, a visual novel, but it's in that area, I think. I'm going to splatter any little holes on this wall. Chairs and tables being eaten by rain and rot. Close door, but you look at it suspiciously. Okay, uh, so before I uh, say some thank you messages, real quick, uh, the, the I need to say two things first. Um, the pr thank you messages are going to be pretty brief today because I want to get into the reading. It's a lot of reading, and I don't want to get all too muddled up b between it when I'm the game and saying thank you. So um, if there's a really big message that you want me to read out today, uh, that might not be the best day for it. I will read it out, but I'm I'm not going to engage with it very much. And the second is um, this game has uh, some fairly strong language and. Um, you should probably be informed of that if you didn't see the other streams. So you should, if that's something that bothers you or some heavy themes, then maybe this isn't the stream for you. I don't know, but Hey, I, I feel like I should say it. Um, is time going to go by while we're just walking around? I don't think it will, right? It's only when you're doing, um, uh, when you're having conversations and stuff, it moves through, right? Orange bum hat, reaction speed, rhetoric. Oh man. Wait, isn't there a hobo cop? Didn't someone say that? There's a hobo cop. Okay, anyway. Do, 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 do. So, very quickly, thank you to the following people. Chefin, uh, 
Hi, Joe. I don't know how Twitch works, so I don't know if you will see this or not, but can you do me a favor and moan real quick? Nope. Uh, thank you, Hi Ross, for the 26 month resub. Totally froggy for the new sub of Prime. Welcome to Prime Time. Thank you, Zorkiel, for the 3 month resub. Thank you, Petagames1, for the new sub with Prime as well. Welcome to Prime Time. Thank you, Pun Cake General. That's a cool name for the new sub with Prime. Welcome to the pickle jar. Uh, thank you, The Gark, for the 26 month resub. Uh, just, I just realized, or just remembered, I'm wearing my contacts today, and it's kind of messing my eyes a little bit. Uh, thank you, that guy Kitty, for the two and three sub. Hey, hey, JoJo, as future emote idea, don't you think Himiko deserves some sort of emote? She still occasionally haunts us. JPH Pickle. Nope. Uh, thank you, Zorgrox, for the 100 bits. 19 days since last disco. Also, Joe, I'm not a weeb. Anderson has 14 out of 24 emote slots that are weeb related. Really? Pickle Nagito doesn't count. Pickle Nagito transcends anime. Uh, thank you, FS Nanashi, for the 313 sub with hi, 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 hi. Hope you're well. Happy New Year. Thank you, Illarin, for the 2513 sub. Thank you very much. Thank you, Aura Hunt, for the 513 sub. Lion Demon, Lion Demon 1, 2. I don't know what those are. But thank you very much. Dark Flashes for 100 bits. I would love to thank you for the last stream. It was such an experience. Is that, are you talking about the Q&A stream or are you talking about the music stream? Uh, the music stream is pretty funny. I watched some parts of it back and, and uh, we had some like um, God tier luck timing on some of the things that were said in that. It was fun. Maybe we'll do it once a, once a year. We'll do a music stream after New Year. I think it was fun. I, I enjoyed the snow halation fucking roulette that we did. Uh, thank you, Snee Snack, not to be confused with Sea Sne Snake for the 11 month resub. Thank you, Parslo195 for the 11 month resub. Two 11 month resubs in a row. Thank you, Sergeant Snuggle18 for the 12 month resub. Welcome to the one year club. Damn one year, been a blast so far. My G, keep doing what you're doing. It's some of the best content on YouTube. Really? Oh, thank you, Sergeant Snuggle. That's nice of you to say. Um, my, my Canadian-ness is making me have to disagree, but thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Pony Nader, for the 313 sub. Any chance you talked about this game before? Ooh, uh, we played it before, so I think this is the fourth stream. Um, we're not even halfway through yet, so uh, we're, we're taking our time. Um, but I think I did a recap before the sub came in, so I hope that was... Uh, that was um, enough if you missed the other ones. Thank you, Fallon, for the 2513 sub. Okay, but can we listen to Snow Halation again? Nope. Thank you, Hypothetical Walrus, for the 313 sub. Cool name. Thank you, Phantom Yeet, or Phanto My Eat, for the 713 sub. <laughs> Thank you, Shadow Brawler, for the 213 sub. Drosophila used 150 bits to say, I haven't been around, so I couldn't say this before, but I also found this game to be extremely overwhelming at first. It literally took me like 10 hours to get into it, but I promise it gets more manageable as you get used to it. And now I understand why people praise it. I am enjoying it, even though it is overwhelming, but um, yeah, it definitely still is overwhelming. There's just seems like there's just so much shit to do. There's, it just expands and keeps sprawling out. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely enjoying it. Uh, thank you, an another Twitch account. I almost said which account. Uh, for the form of three sub, I got gifted subs to the other channels, so I guess I'll give you some money. Well, thank you, another Twitch account. Don't enable a Yaya. Thank you, Trail TV, for the form of three sub. I love you. I love you too, Trail TV. Don't enable a Yaya. Squirrel the Turtle 13 has resubscribed for 16 months. Oh, damn, we made it, boy, 16 months and counting. Sad to have been missing so many streams, but still popping in to hope you are having a good day. Joseph, my bro. So thank you, Squirrel the Turtle. Always good to say your name. It's a fun name to say. Thank you very much. Hope you're doing well and happy new year. Thank you, Artistic Mink, for the 14 month three sub. Thank you, Nitos36 for the 5 month three sub. Shoutouts to Lieutenant Kusaragi for being the best video game companion ever. Really? Hmm. That high up, huh? Hmm. We'll see. Thank you, Joe is Ayaya for the new sub with Prime. I take it back. I don't say thank you to that. I'll welcome you to the pickle jar, but I, I retract my thank you. Thank you, Dr. Innuendo, for the new Silver Prime as well. Welcome to the, the pickle pile jar. I'm losing track today. Um, I've been awake since 2 in the morning, so uh, sorry. Uh, I'm not I'm not as out of it as I, uh, as I have been in the past, but I am still a little bit out of it, so you have to bear with me. Thank you, Isolated Spaceman, for the 50 bits. Did you know that in weeb culture, the people that go that goes harder on weebs are the weebest of weebs? So that means you are a huge weeb. Not like it was a secret or anything, Kappa. No, I, I, I reject this. Nope. Nope, I reject this. If I'm to choose between two weebles, I'd rather not choose at all. Thank you, Shik Panky. Shapanky? Shapanky for the new Cyber Prime. Welcome to Prime Time. Thank you very much, Shapanky. Thank you, Ishuala. 
the Shuala for the 2 and 3 sub. Thank you, thank you. You know, like that sneaky uh, Witcher reference there. Uh, thank you, I have been thinking for the 8 month resub. Hope you have a lot of water ready for this stream. Have a good one. I have no water, actually. I have no water. What the fuck, Janus SG? I have, I have, I have no water at all. Maybe um, Lily Chan will bring me some water. Well, that's not going to be ironic soon, isn't it? Uh, thank you. I I have. Been, oh no, I just read that one out. Uh, thank you, not Waco or not Waco for the four and three. So drop my sub and running away to avoid spoilers. See you in Vodland. Best of luck for The Witcher. And as we say in, uh, uh, Bel <laughs> Bologna, Italy. Hard balls. Hard balls. JPH pickle. Thank you, not Waco. Hopefully you see this in the vod. Shout out to the vod boys and girls. Uh, thank you, Multi Master World, for the six month resub. So, me and my pals were thinking, and we came up with this every hot dog is a sandwich, but not every sandwich is a hot dog. Let me know what you think, Joe. No, we're not getting into this again. Nope. Nope. This is this is the reading the subs out and then saying nope stream. Nope. Not getting into it. Nope. Mm -mm. The, the hot dog sandwich wars are over. Thank you, Big Ol' Ryan, for the 16 month resub. Hi, Joe. Love you. Love you too, Big Ol' Ryan. Hope you're well. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2020. Thank you, Hyper Grapes. That was a landmine. Uh, for the new Cyber Prime, welcome to Prime Time. Welcome some grapes into the pickle jar. And thank you, Bolendo Blaze, for the new sub as well. Welcome to Prime Time. Thank you, Bolendo. Bloody Hilarious, you some to say, okie dokie, short message then. Just wanted to say, I miss this game a lot. Well, welcome back to you and to Disco Elysium. Doki Doki is apparently getting some updates. I don't know what they could possibly do with it, but um, that's a thing in case you missed that news. Uh, thank you, Indie Gamer Luke, for the 5 and 3 sub. Can't wait for you to play Persona 5 Royale and Friendzone Haru again just to piss off chat. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. The saying is, are we Haru or are we Harum? I don't know. I actually have some some big, big plans for the Persona 5 Royal um, playthrough. I hope I can bring them to fruition. We'll see. I have some big plans. Uh, thank you, Utter Sloth, for the 5 and 3 sub. Disco Elysium Pog Champ. Thank you very much. Mabake use some bits to say. Show love, show love. Hope it doesn't sound condescending or bothering, but please don't forget to compare. Um, the stat fan art and the Disco Elysium stat table uh did we did we do that did we do that in disco elysium or did we do that another thing because it's been so long hold on i can put it on the screen it doesn't sound condescending or, or, or anything like that hold on Okay, so this is made by Madbake, and it's it's the um, it's a skill tree from this game based on all all of the memes that come here. So let me make it vanish. So that's that's the real version, and then this is the the Madbake stream meme version. Which I think did the official like Twitter of the game like like it? They saw it. Which is just like, <laughs> what the fuck did they think of that? Because <laughs> I mean, even with context, <laughs> you know what I mean. Even with context, <laughs> so out of context. <laughs> oh. Even even with context. Sorry about that, Mavic. I thought I thought I um I thought I showed it on a stream. I guess I'm, I was did I show it, but not on a Disco Elysium stream. I think that was it. I think that was it because it's it's in my stream my stream fan art folder. Uh, thank you to Janus SG for gifting out twenty subs in uh, what is the current attempt to make me not actually play the game on stream today. <laughs> Uh, so welcome to Trex13470, Danta Cure, Zoro Lavender, Gentle Nobra, Bloody Hilarious, Super Goober33, Not Twitter Rowan, Yepress, KK Swookser, Gabe Dolvikin, Heavy Men, Gravel Mouse, Chiro Hero, Chihiro Chihiro, Sura Nosferati, Senior Nosferati, Gary the Hot Soup Man. What? Why, why are you Gary the Hot Soup Man? Thank you, Punko Pun Punoko Face, Slay for Days Kappa, Derpy Ghost, Sly Garf, and Legitimate Time Cake. 
Uh, thank you very much, Janice SG. Is this, there's always some ridiculously funny name in uh, in in a, a, a gift uh, sub bomb. Uh, thank you very much. That's that's, that's very generous of you. Um, welcome, welcome to uh, to the new people on that list. Also, happy new year. I've always I'm always been a late vod boy recently. Happy new year, Mapic. Happy new year, and thank you again for the. Uh, For, for this masterpiece. There's a reference again between the two. Look like the, the like the perfect scale too. Look at that. Well, you play Outer Wilds? Yeah, well we're gonna play Outer Wilds sometime this year with chat turned off. And the last four on my list, Varvareth for the time of three sip. Hi Joseph, did you hear of B what? Beetlegu Beetlegoose Anomaly an anomal dimming what anomal dimming that cold that cold mean a supernova in about 10 years or 10,000 years lol anomal dimming like an anom Be they've like recorded some change in in beetle use i feel like i feel okay i'm too tired i'm too tired i'm moving on i'm moving on thank you varvarth Thank you, Varvar. Thank you, Ipsen13 for the 813 sub. Thank you very much. Uber2013 for the 413 sub. Oh boy, it's Art Cop time. It is Art Cop time. Art Cop to the rescue. Xander H for the new sub. Welcome to the Dragon Send Xander H. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Rubber Dub Sub Club. And last but not least, Silly Nix and Multimaster World. Silly Nix has reached his car for two months with Hello Y'all. How's it going, Silly Nix? Happy New Year. 2020 and Multimaster World says also the highlights from the rest of the tier were great. Yeah, they were they were really good. People are, are, have reacted really well to them. It has done quite well. All right, so um, uh, let's um, let's actually play the game after uh, the half an hour intro. So let's go back to the pawn shop and see what's going on down there. I lied. Keep side apartments. Inside the frame room, recycle and repair the tools used to assemble it. Okay, so it's locked or something? Hmm. Hey, up here, Pigo. Can we talk to him from down here? Yeah, you better keep walking. The streets will flow red once more. A great torrent rushing down Rue d'Esperance. You wait and see. The girl stares at the sailboat by the pier. The streets will not flow red with anything. Who are you? I'm Cindy the fucking skull. What else do you want to know? Date of birth? Blood type? The last time I was tested for hep C? We just want to know your name, little lady. No need to get defensive. Don't use that tone with me. I am the law. Let's start with your blood type and go from there. Hep, yeah. When were you last tested? Just answer some questions, okay? Number three. Go where? Accosting a minor? Listen to your partner, pig man. Keep your grubby hooves off little old ladies. Despite the attitude, she puts the brush aside. Challenging success. A brush? An artist? The red splatter is... Urban expressionism. <gasps> I'm wearing art cop. Catch you later, Cindy. You keep looking off to the side. What are you looking at? What are you doing to the wall? Do you know anything about the recent murder? She nods disdainfully toward the woman performing maintenance on the boat dock next to the pier. Hatred? Disgust? It's difficult to tell which of the two is more present in her girlish features. The woman on the boat does not notice her staring. She hisses. That... Oh, ozone whore. Someone's got to keep an eye on her. Ozone is an archipelago. Two days travel from Rav Ravishal. Is it Ravishal or Rivashal? It's Ravishal, right? It's moneyed residents used to pot used to posh, resh posh restaurants and upscale boutiques. Rarely have reason to visit Martinez. Probably the Wild Pines rep. We should talk to her. He nods in her direction. She's a professional negotiator, though. I have the feeling she will be very cooperative while telling us nothing. You should take the lead. Ask her unexpected questions. You know, do your thing. Don't be afraid to get a bit wacky. Throwing her off is our best bet. Oh, man, man you're just like... 
You're unleashing the Hulk here. Good idea, piggies. Run along now. Fuck her shit up good and pound that boat while you're at it. I'd like to watch her swim back to Ozone. What are you doing to the wall? Can't you tell? I'm painting a beautiful mural, an aero graffito visible from low orbit. She studies the wall, suddenly pensive. I haven't really started it yet. I'm waiting for the right words. So you don't know what to write. Why are you so committed to defacing the building? I have an opinion on this. Want to hear it? Yeah. I love public art. Don't mind us. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to have to stop you. This is hooliganism. Actually, I don't have an opinion. I lied. Thanks. I'm sure the inspiration will come to me now that I have an official RCM, RCM stamp of approval. She means the opposite. You've lessened her desire to deface the building. Yeah. Do you know anything about the recent murder? She wrinkles her nose. I ain't no snitch. Pigstein? Go forth and forage in someone else's shit. No shortage of squealers in these parts. Actually, there is a shortage of people who have us in a normal, calm, informative manner. Sorry, who talk to us in a normal, calm, informative manner. We weren't put on this earth to make your life pleasant, fucko. Catch you later. Watch your back. Ungulate. You've got eyes on you. The crowbar will let you open lock container. Oh yeah, the crowbar. There's tools. Yeah, sorry. I forgot. Um, so let's put the crowbar in our hand. And we just we just get clothes. Uh, signal blue naval coat lowers half light, gives a suggestion, but it replaces what? It replaces esprit de corps. Okay, this this looks awesome. Okay, but what's our half light skill? Half light is our ability to threaten people. Ah, we're bad at that already. We're bad at that already. Fuck it. This is what we're wearing now. Um, what's the, that's the flashlight, that's her thing. All right, so let's talk to, uh, talk to Kim. We should think about calling it today, maybe. The nights are still miserably cold this time of year. I haven't paid the cafeteria manager for damages yet. You should take care of that then, but I don't have the money. Let's talk to him anyway, an officer of the RCM shouldn't be sleeping in the streets. We'll figure something out. Though he finds the situation frustrating, he is doing his best to make, to not make you feel any worse than you already do. Aw, oh, Kim's such a bro. What if we don't fall asleep? The belly of this boat shines like it was recently painted. What if we sleep in the car to save money? Docking reserve for residents of... Okay, uh, how do we save it again? F5, right? Okay, there we go. Your room in the whirling isn't much bigger than this sloop. This is worth more than you'll ever earn in all your life. I think about that stuff all the time. You see something like that and you just look and you're like, wow. Joyce Messier. A striking woman leans against against the cabin top of her sailing boat, smiling as you approach. Her green raincoat glistens with droplets. A silk scarf is tied around her throat. Thank you, Strix Varia, for the 313 sub. Thank you very much. Thank you, A Fury of Owls, for the 413 sub. Have a nice Tuesday, Joe, and enjoy more Yusuke Simulator. I will, Fury of Owls. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Zephyriox, for... Or Zeph... Yeah, Zephyriox, for the 413 sub as well. Thank you very much. Three and two fours in a row there. And thank you, Xander H, for the 100 bits. Subscribing to Joe formed a new bond. I can sense a strong resolve from Joe. I am thou, thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity with the birth of the hermit persona. <laughs> I have obtained the winds of winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Confidant, Joseph Anderson, Arcana, Hermit, Rank 1, Message Reading, New Ability. Allows your messages upon subscription to be read out personally by Joe. Thank you, Xander. Good evening, officers. I'm Joyce. She extends her hand in greeting. Joyce L. Messia. I represent the board of Wild Pines, the owners of the harbor. You gentlemen must be from the RCM. She steps closer and holds out her hand over the railing. Joyce L, what does the L stand for? Loser, what exactly is the RCM? I remember hearing it from somewhere. What gave us away? Shake her hand, don't shake her hand. Okay, um, so we're supposed to like set her off balance. So let's not shake her hand. I'm glad to see you here. The woman and Lieutenant exchange a brief handshake. She is unfazed by your rudeness, probably chalking it up to local custom. Oh, it didn't work. I was dispatched to handle a strike, not a lynching. Anything I can do to assist the RCM in this matter, I will, gladly. Can you get the body down from the tree? That is good to hear, madame. He opens My his notebook. will take the lead on this interview. 
I should let you know that he is recovering from an unusual medical episode. Very unusual. But I can assure you of his ultimate competency. Damn. Uh, is it loud enough, by the way? Should I turn it up louder? He was a bit quiet, but is the sound okay? I think the sound was bad. People would be screaming at me, but let's turn it up a little bit anyway. There's a trace of irony in his voice. Mischief, even. This is a tactic. How interesting. I wish you a swift recovery. In the meanwhile, you have my full cooperation and the full cooperation of the Wild Pines group. Okay, good now, or up a little bit more, or what? Do, 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 do. It's hard to get a read on her precise disposition, but she appears helpful. You're on a boat. <laughs> tell me about wild pines. What do you do? What can you tell me about this strike? What can you tell me about this lynching? Do you know something about these tattoos? Show her photo. You seem rich. Can I have some money? Is what you want to say, but it isn't that easy, is it? What? Why not? Look at that lady. Take a gander. Squint your eyes, bub. What nice fabrics. What lustrous hair. What nice fabrics. Why, yes, tucked away under that sturdy green raincoat, almost rustic in its simplicity, the, shilk, the silk shirt, sorry, a silk shirt, and matching scarf round her gentle throat. While dull orange pearls hang from her, her earlobes, red from cold, her light green eyes scan you, full of knowledge and worry, wealth, and all its possibilities. These are the kind eyes of the rich man that seem to say everything is possible. Within reason, yeah, so. Now look at you, you misery-clad simian, barely able to tie your own laces. Your armpits are lakes. A scythe of booze precedes you. Your hair sticks to your forehead and your underwear feels uncomfortable. You're poor, poor as balls. You can't ask this person for money. You're too ashamed. I'm not ashamed. What is this feeling? I've never felt it before. I'm a goddamn working man. I'm not ashamed to, sh to shake this leech for some dough, as I should be for even considering it. This is a woman, and I'm a man. Yes, I should make my own goddamn money by now. I kind of feel like Yusuke's number six. Yusuke's rarely shamed. six maybe you can ask her for some stock tips that's a maybe or a job but you're sh you're sure as hell too ashamed to ask for a cash buddy as i was saying her voice breaks the silence and suddenly you're back again nearby a seagull pecks at a piece of garbage if there's any way i may be of assistance please don't hesitate to ask all right so now you can say it again low damn damn 17 percent uh show her the, the tattoo that's the photo of that's the man who was killed. She almost takes the photo, but then stops. I'm afraid this is a discussion for once. Uh, we've cleared the lynching question. So you know something about the tattoos? Fine, let's return to it later. Why? How's you looking at a photo tied to the lynching? Better not to tie the forestay to the backstay on this. I hope there is something else I can help you with. She wants to answer the question. Protocol keeps her from it. You're on a boat. Why, yes, I am. She looks at the deck under her feet. Green and white sails flutter overhead. Not a lot of people on boats, are there? <laughs> Does she have a name? I, do you have a license for this boat? <laughs> Does she have a name? The boat? No. It is called Cordeliet 19, because that's the type of sloop it is. Okay, but what kind of boat is it? It's a pleasure craft, a 19 pacer. It also happens to be a, to be a rated... A, is it meant to be A rated? A rated for category one racing? Or is that a mistake? Or though these days I mainly use it for business. How do you like it? My sloop, I like it a lot. Her lips curl into a wry smile. It's the eel's hips, baby. Oh, damn. I'm enjoying this part of the interview. It has so little to do with the murder we're investigating. Not a lot of people on boats, are there? Of course there are. She looks around. We're on an archipelago. How else are you supposed to get around? Wait, we're on an archipelago? Look around. Yes, we are. She raises her brow. We are on Likalu. 
technically the neighboring ozone and face a la mer island groups are archipelagos while le Calou, by contrast is a single fertile landmass the fourth largest island in the world it is not an archipelago wait i thought le Calou was one big island okay she gives you a crooked smile if you want to get the get tech want to get technical the point is we're all on islands here and sail is still the most expedi expedient way to get from one island to another especially when you're in a hurry to resolve a strike still i haven't seen anyone else sail a boat around here i haven't seen anyone else drive a souped up copri kinem kinema motor carriage either i'm so good at so good at reading all these words actually the lieutenant becomes defensive the motor carriage has been specially issued to serve as a patrol and pursuit vehicle it's for crossing long distances in the greater Revishal? Revishal. Revishal Industrial Harbor. It's not a toy. Neither is this. The woman pats the cabin hard top. A toy, I mean. It's a machine for crossing long distances in the Bay of Revishal between the city and the islands. You need to make this lady admit she's only riding around on this boat because she's rich. Yes, I do. <laughs> you have the guns and the ammo. Take this class and fiend down. <laughs> Let's talk about the econ <laughs> economics of this boat you're on. Go in for the kill. <laughs> oh my, the E word. She crosses her arms. You mean to say that it's a symbol of conspicuous consumption? That I'm a member of the ruling class? Yes, exactly. Precisamundo. Class wartime, baby. No, it's a symbol of our subjugation to foreign capital. The bad kind of capital. Forget about it. I was out of line. Um... <sighs> okay, any of the first three is fine. Let's go two. Detective, may I remind you that M Mrs. Messier is a prof professional negotiator? He doesn't look like he thinks you're best, you'll best her in single combat. Hey, you told me to get weird with it, Kim. Also, how did you disappear? Where is he? Okay. Then what does that say? She points to the plaque on the side of the pier. Does it say docking reserve for residents of Rue de saint saint Guichelin 33A? 33A, this old proletarian haunt here. She waves at the ruin looming overhead. As I said, plenty of people drive boats of all social strata. Ooh, reaction speed challenging. Fire back quick. All right, all right. 42, 42, 42. <sighs> 42. All right, stretch out. Stretch out. Oh no. Oh, double ones. Um she takes a sip. It's going to happen. Okay, she takes <laughs> Something is about to happen. Point to your head in here. Of course, nothing happens for quite a while. They will come from my head. The arguments. Wave your hand next to your head. It will help. And it doesn't. Keep waving your hand slowly. My, she inspects the motion. It's as if there is a tiny spinner on the side of his head and he's reeling thoughts out. Except he isn't. The lieutenant is satisfied with where this is going. A thought is going to come out of my head and into my mouth. And I will say it. Keep doing it. It's... <laughs> keep... <laughs> Lieutenant, I truly don't understand what is happening here. I told you his methods are unconventional. I swear to God, I'm usually sharp. I don't know what happened. Why am I not killing it? Your marble, marbles on glass, dear. Don't worry. What were we talking about anyway? It was quite a while ago, but I, was, I think she looks around. Yes, we were discussing my fast, large, in elucidably middle-class boat. Do you have a license for this boat? Officer, I assure you, I'm a highly qualified pleasure craft operator. The crowns of her teeth are porcelain. Why does the boat, boat's hull as she smiles? Didn't answer the question. Her nonchalance might be related to something called the Warefarer Act, a law that says she doesn't need a license. Sly Fox, you're not aggressive enough to harass her further on this. All right. Uh, tell me about Wild Pines. What do you do? What we do, I'm afraid, I don't speak for Wild Pines as a whole, it's a giant undertaking. There was a touch of discomfort there. She wants to merely represent. So what do they do? 
The Pine's core competency is logistics, container shipping, freight, that sort of thing. She points to the small dots on the horizon. See those airships there blinking? Those are the shipping side of things. Then to the east toward the harbor, and that is the terminal. Another subdivision deals with energy, oil, and gas exploration, exploration offshore platforms. The Wild Pines group of one of the original Vakalian Indo, Indo tribes, companies awarded royal monopolies by the king, the Suris, Suzerian himself. Did I say that wrong? Did I say that right? Suzerian? Suzerain? Suzerain? Uh, himself centuries ago. The king is long gone, but several of the Indo tribes remain. Suzerain? It's just Suzerain? Who are the other Indo tribes? You're in good company, it seems. Who are the other Indo tribes? Saint Baptiste, Lum, an unknown entity known as Brightest Star. Ooh, okay. You're in good company, it seems. That's cool. Why, thank you. She does not register the real meaning of the remark. I really like um, ostentatious names for things in media. I don't know why. I, I, I usually don't like that kind of like um, uh, like masturbatory kind of style of writing where everything's just like so over the top. But when it comes to names of things, I really, really enjoy that. Um, well, thank you. She does not register the real meaning of the remark. How much money does Wild Pines have? I'm not at liberty to discuss the company balance sheet, but I can tell you that last year the company booked more than 20 billion, billion real in revenue. Wow, that's it? I thought Wild Pines was supposed to be big time. Numbers like that mean nothing to me. <laughs> the money I owe is so much less. <laughs> Fuck okay, it, let's go. Yes, past a certain point, numbers begin to seem imaginary, but they are quite real for the 72,000 employees who depend on Wild Pines for their paychecks. A conglomerate the size of Wild Pines is like a shark. If it stops moving and growing, it will die. Then what will become of those 72,000 families? It is a tremendous responsibility. Where does Wild Pines get all these billions? That's all you need to know about something else. Uh, they started as an exploration and cargo fleet conducting trade between the Samaran and Insulindi Insulindian tri yeah, Insulindian, right? I think. I saw those 250 years ago when pine ships explored the South Seminese and charted Lo Man Thang on behalf of the Suzrain. Or Suzrain? Suzrain or Suzrain? I think Suzrain, maybe. Hmm. Centuries of care, deliberation, and madness have gone into this endeavor. Vessels pass through the great unrest to reemerge with apricots in tow. The logic of the system is to totalizing. It's taken everything from its employees to build it. It probably helps to start out with a royal monopoly. What does such a huge system want with a place like this? Look around. You mean aside from being the terminal's legal owner? She gives you a little smile. Who are responsible for moving 8% of the world's cargo? 8% of all cargo in the world? That's quite the endeavor indeed. You don't keep it moving. The workers do. The company is nothing without them. <laughs> That's all I need to know about something else. 8% of all the cargo? She nods forcefully. There are no minor cogs in the system. Each terminal must be accounted for. Each terminal must be accounted for, lest the entire system break. Every hiccup is such a such a system. What? Sorry, every hiccup, hiccup in such a system means thousands lose their jobs the world over. I'm here to assure that doesn't happen. With your help, hopefully, says her warm tone. Can you tell me about the strike? Everything she smiles right up to, but not including trade secrets. Wait, what if I want to hear about trade secrets? First, you have to repeal the Emergencies Act of Trade and Ail... Not ailments, aliments? That gives me the right to silence. It's quite the octopus. The octopus that straddles Revachal, the Emergencies Act, it is the cornerstone of post war Revachal, inseparable from the world it created. An octopus? I will slay it. How will it how do I repeal it then? Wouldn't want to disturb an octopus octopus. Better let it be. I am glad you see it that way. To repeal the act would mean repealing the coalition government, the one that leases you leases you the right to police West Revachal. You'd be shooting yourself in the foot, in other words, leave it alone. But I but I am derailing us. You want to know about the strike. What is your role in this precisely? I believe the official title is Senior Labor Negotiator. In practice, I'm a grocery clerk. I relay the union's demands to Wild Pines and return with Wild Pines' counteroffer. No way, she's more. She can make decisions. And how are the talks going? They're not. That's the problem. The union stopped all negotiations a week ago after that awful lynching took place. I'm kind of stunned there's even a union. Now the now they won't even let me into the harbor. There's a twenty two point twenty meter 
Oh, okay. Racist behemoth blocking the gates. Okay, I understand the context there. Okay, I understand now. Tell me more about this behemoth. Tell me more about this behemoth. Uh, what can I say? The union employs a giant giant covered in tattoos. She pauses. A racist giant. I guess that's part of their big tent organization now. How were the talks going before the lynching proceed? I wonder if that's the guy that had the had the heavy heavy boot prints in, in the um in the ground when we, that we found around the body. Hmm. Let's say I was not making the kind of progress I'd hoped what for when I first arrived. And when did you first arrive? I arrived three weeks ago, she thinks. Yes, in the middle of February. The bay was still partially frozen then. I've heard to do these things on site like the Royal Canadian Mounties. He looks at his notes. But the strike began in December. I wasn't the original negotiator here. I took over after Mr. Gaumont hit a wall with Mr. Clare, the union boss. Mr. Clare refused to speak with Gaumont despite concessions he had granted the union in prior negotiations. This isn't the first time the union has gone on strike. Heavens no, there have been two prior strikes. Both times the union won significant won significant concessions, including overtime pay and a medical plan. This time their demands are more, I guess you could say, aggressive. Damn. Ludicrous even, it's meant. What happened to this Gaumont? What are their demands? The scabs of the gate. Did you put them there? Tell me about this union boss, Mr. Clare. Uh, what are their demands? There are leaflets everywhere and banners. What did they say again? Oh, yes. Every worker, a member of the board. Most of the workers probably don't know what that means. I like it. I don't know what to think about that. Over-aggressive, commie posturing. Seems like they have no idea about business. Forget it. I want to ask something else about the strike. Okay. We need to make a decision, chat. Is Yusuke... Does Yusuke believe in capitalism or not? I kind of feel like he would. I know that sounds strange. I kind of feel like Yusuke would secretly be a capitalist and wouldn't like communism. I kind of feel like he would. No, he's an artist. Damn. Damn, there's a lot of prejudice in chat right now about artists. What the fuck? What the fuck? I just, I just, when I, when I think of Yusuke, I don't get a, like, like a communist vibe from him. I don't know. Maybe that's just because I feel like he wouldn't really think about that much and you would just want to like, yeah, the status quo is fine. I don't give a shit. Just let me draw. I don't know. You know, art artists, those arch fascists. Damn. And any capitalist is fascist. I don't know. I don't know what you would be, actually. Hmm. I think I like it. I like it. You understand what he's saying. I like it. Then you might also like their other slogan, Demand Democracy. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Nope, that's weak. Not hard communist enough for me. <laughs> See, he would say, nope, that's weak, agreeing with the intent, but not liking it as a slogan. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Personally, I agree. It lacks the pizzazzo of every worker, a member of the board. Exactly. What exactly do they mean by it, though? What's the demand? It's quite simple, you see. Every time the Wild Pines group makes a decision about what? About anything, really. It needs the signature of each of the 2,200 workers in its Martinez terminal. Just so you understand, this is but one of 22 terminals owned by Wild Pines. Essentially, not only are they kings of the company, they are also kings of the 72,000 employees of the Wild Pines group. Hmm. An opening gambit, surely. It's pretty funny, I have to admit. The workers can't be kings. The king is king. The king is dead. Long live the workers. Sounds like an opening gambit. Proceed. <laughs> what are you going to do? All right, so proceed means we move on to something else, right? So that's, that's pretty funny, I have to admit. They're having a blast, but how can they afford it? After four months, my assumption was they would prefer a more practical solution. Sounds like an opening gambit. So I hope, she nods. But this type of opening is usually followed by a more reasonable offer. I've yet to hear one. Just the same nonsensical slogan repeated over and over again. And now people are getting lynched. I hear behind the whirling, the whirl, the whirling in rags, a disastrous situation if there ever was one. Excuse me, the lieutenant looks up for his notes. From whom did you hear about this lynching? Her reply comes quick. I first heard it a little too quick. I first heard it from the boy uh, at the gates. The one whose very name advertises his aversion to work. I think he said it was call me my, my, my nana. This checks out. What happened to this Gaumont? The scabs of the gate, did you put them there? What happened to this Gaumont? Uh, 
Mr. Killer told him to, how did he put it? She pauses to compose herself. Fuck off, midget. Galmon is short of stature, you see. Hmm, okay then. Cool. Not cool. Hmm, okay then. Yes, keep in mind, this is a negotiator, Mr. Claret. Not cool, by the way. Mr. Cool has worked with before, and who is more than fair with him and the Union. The scabs of the gate, did you put them there? The scabs? She raises her brow. You mean the huddled masses of jamrock that come to plead for work when the Union refuses to? If they were, organi if they were organized by Wild Pines or its affiliates, then it would be a company secret. I could not share it with you, not right now at least. It's implied she's open to discussing this matter with you at a later occasion. Tell me about this union you must, Mr. Clare. Avart Clare is a man of the utmost integrity. If you can say one thing about him, it's that he always puts the interests of the workers first. She's being sarcastic. Don't take her performance literally. Really? That's not what you th that's not what you really think, right? Of course not. Ev Evrart is fantastically corrupt. I imagine he has a thick, vicious, viscous goo where you and I have blood. Is he that bad? He can't be that bad. Say nothing. Wait, ain't that bad? He is the most corrupt individual I have ever seen, and I deal with men like him for a living. If there is anyone more venal, or venal, more ir irredeemably nepotistic, then it's his twin brother, Edgar. Wait, there are two of him? Yes, Edgar looks exactly like his brother, except for that lazy eye. He also talks exactly like Everard does. Edgar and Everard? <sighs> And when one's term as a foreman is up, the other takes over. It's how they circumvent the term limits, you see. With a funny little switcheroo, while in office, they've embezzled God knows how much of their workers' dues. What about the union itself, outside of Brothers Claire? The Debardeurs Union was once a perfectly normal institution, 20 years ago anyway. It must not have been easy to establish under the Emergency Act, but they did it. I can respect that. She adjusts her hair. Organized labor at its best, as they say. Then something happened in the local chapter elections. The Brothers Claire came and transformed it into, how do I say? She hesitates, looking for the right expression. A mob, the lieutenant says succinctly. The Debadurs are a crime syndicate. Sad as it may be, we're forced to cooperate with them. Refreshingly honest, officer, she nods. The company has tried appeasing in the past, and I'm afraid our concessions have only emboldened Everard and his brother. She turns to you. And your opinion, detective? If I may ask, I'm curious... And I'm a curious and talkative person, you see, she explains. Would you say the DeBars Union is an effective advocate for the rights of local working men? A giant leech sucking the life out of Revachal? Basically a socialist mob. I prefer not to have an opinion on these things. Um, I mean, I don't know enough about it, so I'm going to guess four because I don't know. Like, the context of this sounds really bad. So, like, I want to say it's bad, but I don't know enough. Like the whole the whole twins like just switching elections back and forth sounds really bad. Eh, mm, I think it's bad. Indeed, and a hungry one. She nods. Sadly, while pines have cooperated with what amounts to a crime syndicate for two decades. However much you feed the leech, the leech always hungers. One more thing. You said something happened in, in the elections. I'm glad you asked. There was a woman, the previous forewoman of the union. She disappeared. 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 Yes, on the last day of the local chapter elections, her daughter phoned in and said she wasn't running anymore or coming to work ever. End of story. Eerie. It happens. Some kind of extortion, probably. Eerie. Downright haunting, if you ask me. The Walpines suspected foul play, but what could they do? It was a union matter. The point of the presentation is these kinds of things happen around the Clares. Watch out when you're dealing with him. The 16th student, thank you for your concern, ma'am. We'll be just fine. That's all I needed here. Let's change the topic. We're still not done. What are you talking about the lynching? Quite a few things. I'm afraid she falls silent for a moment, contemplating something. <sighs> Secret task complete. Interview the Wild Pines rep. Gain experience 10. The information I'm, I'm to share with you includes sensitive trade secrets. For the sake of my employer, I have to ask for your names and badge numbers. Oh, shit. Oh, no, we don't know that. <laughs> Of course, man, we should have introduced ourselves. Lieutenant Hans, her, her piece of blue plastic. I'm Lieutenant Katsurugi from Precinct 57. He points to you, and this is my colleague from Precinct 41. I'm afraid he doesn't have his badge at the moment. I hope mine will suffice. How curious. She returns to Lieutenant's badge. She returns to Lieutenant's badge and turns to you. Why is that, Detective? Awkwardness washes over the conversation. The woman doesn't like this turn of events. Twas stolen by some artist, surely. Best to pin the blame on them. Everyone knows you can't trust artists. Sh why should I blame it on an artist? Some artist type stole my badge. It was a mistake to trust them. Remember when my partner told you I'd recently suffered from an unusual medical episode? My, my lost badge is related to it. 
Why should I blame an artist? Everyone knows you can't trust artists. They're nearly as bad as clowns. Some damn clown stole it from me. It's a long story. <laughs> no, I'm going for. I'm going for. I see. She looks increasingly worried. So you're saying you lost your badge during the course of this episode. It's possible. After a night of heavy drinking, I lost all memory of my life in the world. I could have eaten it for all I know. I don't remember anything. This world, the city, nothing. Um, yes. If we shit it out later, I will be so impressed. Oh dear, she sighs with compassion and sadness even. I suppose this does explain some of the more curious turns in our conversation. She must have been suspecting something for a while now. As I said, ma'am, ma Lieutenant interjects, his technique may be very unconventional, but he is an officer of the RCM. Of course, I sympathize, but I'm afraid I simply can't share anything more until I've seen that badge. Hang on, she's a professional negotiator. She should be open to some sort of mutually beneficial arrangement. What kind of arrangement would it be? Then I'll find it some... I think if you do these, sometimes it raises the amount of, um... Of, uh... What? Pities your boat failure? <laughs> Sympathy for your amnesia? Let's go with this one. I think I think it sometimes it can um, it can uh, make you have a higher chance. Wow. I mean, favors for favors, a dirty alliance of some sort. Consider this. Perhaps she has been planning it all along that you convinced yourself into colluding with her. Oh, it did. A dirty alliance. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Double sixes. That's a waste easy just offer her a favor like i said nice and dirty surely there's some other way to demonstrate our law enforcement credentials zip i will be frank with you she puts down her thermal cup if i'm going to break protocol i need to be able to justify it to my superiors they're going to want to see something very tangible you're in but expect her to drive a hard bargain like what Reports from inside Terminal B suggest it's a hub for the local drug trade. This is an open secret in Martinez. The union controls the terminal, so it, go so it goes to reason. The company has tried looking into the matter before to no avail. Perhaps someone with your authority and resources might turn over the right stones? Or she picks the cup back up. You can recover your badge, though if I may be blunt with you, it sounds like that may be a lost cause. I don't know, I might poop in two days. Detective, the lieutenant closes the notebook. A word in private before we continue. Excuse us for a moment, madam. Whoa, he's... Oh, he was inside of us. Alright. This is not going quite as I hoped it would, detective. The lieutenant's voice is hushed. Sorry if the weaves in the chat can't hear that. How did you hope it would go? Honestly, I was expecting you to use your unorthodox technique to keep her off balance and, you know, not volunteer us to be her henchmen. Oh, so we're henchmen now. Really? I thought it was going so well. This woman is running circles around us. She might have known about your misplaced badge all along, or she's simply an adept improviser. Either way, we've played straight into our hands. He doesn't let it show, but there's a limit to how much the consequences of your unprofessional behavior can cost the investigation. Maybe this is all her plan. She might have heard about you. I'm sorry for putting us in this situation. I'll handle it. The company must have, must have more ears on the ground. She could have known about my condition. Her proposal was likely part of her design. This is this all is. What do you propose that we don't what do you propose that we don't investigate the drug trafficking trafficking? We could we could just, you know, find my badge. Mm, number one. I'm sure you will, Detective. We could just find my badge. Oh, he nods slowly. That would be fantastic, but do we have the time? The world's the world's is large, and your badge is eight by six centimeters. The situation might have changed drastically by the time you locate it. Time is of the essence. That c you could request a new one from your station, but that would literally take months. Hmm. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Her reaction did come off as sincere to me. I think she's just quick to adapt. She's a professional after all. Her proposal was likely part of her design. That all is. This all is. Yes, knowing this does not really change our position, however, would you propose that we don't investigate the drug, drug trafficking? No, if there is a re if there is reasonable suspicion, we must investigate. Otherwise, she could claim we're siding with the union or that we're on their take or take. We'd never hear the end of it. What I propose is we ask her, then we investigate. Briefly, he adjusts his glasses, but do not share the outcome of this investigation with her. We tell her it's done and demand for, demand for her information on the lynching. lynching. Let's get back to her then, conclude. All right. This is interesting. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? 
Say it. Can I have some money? Herd of billions. <laughs> God, I really want to do it. Uh, you seem smart. I need someone to give me a lowdown on this reality we're in. This reality, she pulls her hood closer around her neck. This is what we came back to say. Yes, reality is your side case. An experimental side case. I am conducting a personal investigation into the world I find myself in. It's related to that medical episode. I have trouble remembering even the most basic terms of reality. No time to explain. Just give me the lowdown. Actually, now is not a good time. Ah, yes, the episode. Sounds like an acute case of encephalopathy. I think I've heard that word before, actually. Now that I think of it, she puts down her thermal cup and looks at you. Don't be phased, madam. He functions perfectly well. He only needs a lowdown on all of reality. We may be here a while then. She takes a long sip. Ask away, officer. I'll help however I can. All right, we're in. All right, we're in. I know all all these. Sorry, I know these all look good, but begin with the first, okay? Three percent. Three percent. All right, where are we? We're in Martinez, baby. Damn, baby. A casual term of endearment popular among the 50-plus crowd. It's a disco holdover. Pay it no heed. I'm a disco holdover myself. Ha, she smiles. Aren't we all? She refers to your corresponding ages. Mm-hmm. And what is Martinez? Martinez is a district of Revachal. She looks around, her green raincoat flapping in the wind. A very small district tucked away near the industrial harbor north of the 8 881 and Jamrock. You would be excused for not knowing about it. Unimportant, they say. Forgotten, even. Shelled to smithereens during the re revolution. She shrugs. It has its charms, just not this time of year. Tell me more about Martinez. You mentioned a sea. What sea is this? Okay, that's Martinez. What a revachal. Tell me about another, perhaps even more fundamental aspect of reality. What about Martinez? Do, 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 do. I'm not a good ambassador. I've only been here once before as a teenager. Not a lot has changed. She closes her eyes. There are ruins, a terminal. I'm going to cough. <coughs> Sorry about that. Fishing boats, reeds, boys with boxy shoulders. She opens them. This place used to be a province, a workers' resort before the city. Swallowed it, and the artillery did its work. The reeds are the real star of the show here now. The further down the coast, the wilder it gets. You mentioned the sea. What sea is this? It's not really a sea. It's the Bay of Rivashal, and the bay feeds into the ocean. Are we near the ocean? Yes, we are on an island in an ocean, the world's largest body of water, the Insulindic. Known to the early Rivacolians or Rivachalians as Le Immensity Bleu, the Blue Immensities. Nice name. Vast, lukewarm, and unknowable, flowing in and out of sight. What's the name of this island? Kalu, as you already know. She looks at the waters. Imagine a pebble, a smooth over pebble, amidst the great blue sea. Misshapen, cracked, the cracks of the river Esperance. We're in the delta of this river on the sixth branch, the Martinez Distributary. It is clear this pebble is of enormous value to her and to humanity at large. Uh, okay, that's my name. What's Rivashal? Rivashal is what you call a city. What kind of city is Rivashal? The great kind. As if it's self explanatory, beyond patriotism, a fact. What makes Rivashal great? History, detective. They built the city to resolve history. Our part in it, at least, our centuries. Okay, who built the city? Did they build it on disco? The nations of the Occident, or migrant workers from Semenin and Ilmara, depending on your creed. When was Rivashal built? In the Delorean century, 380, sorry, 380 years ago. Okay, and why will it resolve history? They say it is where the terrible questions of our time will be answered. The tensions are highest, the fault lines deepest. By that I mean conflicts, ideological conflicts, the stuff of men. Why here? We are standing on a fertile, self-sufficient island able to, to sustain up to 200 million people in the middle of the Insulindic Ocean, the world's connective tissue. She smiles. It's where the money is. So we're in an unimportant part of an, an important place. So we're pretty much at the center of the world. So we're on the periphery. Basically nobody's so we're center of the world. Oh, we're quite a way off. About, she points across the water where the skyscrapers rise. 22 kilometers from the center of the world. That smoldering iron is the bank of the world building. The bottom floors are Incircom, Coalition Government, Insulindian Mission Command. Damn, where's Tyler Durden? Look to the sea. Silence. She lowers her hand. The water, the light. It's as though you're seeing it for the first time. Where are we? I don't know any of this. Say nothing. Observe the large body of water, swelling, cold. I don't know any of this. Jamas Vu. Get that all the time. We are where we are. I have no truer answer to give, unfortunately. She watches you closely as you scan the horizon. This is one thought you need to complete. Where are you? Was there something else you want to know? I don't remember something 
I remember something about a lowdown. This has been informative. Thank you, ma'am. I'm sure my memory impaired partner has many more questions to ask. He turns to you about even more fundamental aspects of reality. Mine is to just not asking them all right now. Ma'am Messier will be here later too. And tomorrow, isn't that true, ma'am? Absolutely. My commitment here is long term. You're right, Lieutenant. I'll continue later. He nods. It's better not to eat all your candy at once. Indeed. Should we try for the, should we try for the three? The three percent chance. Three percent chance to what is reach for something fundamental. Let's do it. Nope. A strange coldness comes over you, as you look at the world. The waves sway. The waves sway the sloop slowly. That's all. Let's try the other one too. It's on the tip of your tongue, a doubt of source already in your mind. It's not fully formed yet. You have to wait and return to this later once the Jameis view the thought is complete. <sighs> close. It remains a mystery what you mean by this something close. This isn't about you. It's about reality. All right, that's all for now. Okay, tell me something about tell me about this alleged drug trafficking. Traf trafficking. It's quite straightforward. Someone is using Terminal B to smuggle raw ingredients from the Sumerian Isola into Rivashal with the Union's blessing. Well, Pines has suspected it for years. Ingredients for what, ma'am? Meth and dextroamphetamine, GBL, and various synthetic psychedelics. Honestly, it might be quicker to say what you can't make from the stuff. Let me get this straight. The materials come from Samara to, R to Rivashal through the terminal? In the computer, yes, after they clear the terminal, we lose track. The actual production is taking place at various sites in and around Jam Rock Quarter, north of here. While Pines seems to be well apprised of the local drug trade, ma'am, do you mean to say that, say the union also produces the product, sells drugs, I mean? We're in logistics. It's our business to know. And no, as far as the company knows, the union does not produce it. They transport the ingredients for a cut. And you want us to investigate, move on. Yes, but you won't get anything out of Everart and the dock workers union. Still, she raises her bony finger. Every chain has its weak link. The handoff, the motor lorries at the roundabout, the lorries. Am I going to need bolt cutters for this? Unlikely officer, I'm talking about the lorry. <laughs> Once the ingredients reach Shamrock, they're distributed to, to a network of local manufacturers. We'll be well beyond our grasp, but in transit, they may be vulnerable. How convenient that they're all sh that they're stranded like beach whales at the roundabout. Perhaps you've noticed that a number of lorries are tangled in a traffic jam at the roundabout just now. Interview the drivers who are still hanging about. One of them might be waiting for a critical shipment. She gives you a knowing look. I'll be explicit. If you find this driver, I will share my company secrets with you. Uncovering union secrets could also give you an upper hand when dealing with them. Why didn't you come to the RCM earlier? It's no coincidence the lorries are stranded like there like that, is it? Where proof do you have the unions involved? We already have some suspicions that one of the drivers was pres present at the lynching. Okay, I've made up my mind about the smuggling investigation. Proceed. Actually, let's discuss something else for now. Okay, why? Why? No coincidence the lorries are stranded. No, we asked East Motor Track to raise the drawbridge. The road company is a partner of one of our subsidiaries. However, she pauses, looking to the sea. This is a limited time opportunity. Once the complaint has been processed by the trade committee, they'll have no choice but to lower the drawbridge, and the operation will continue. You. She looks north. Thousands of liters of raw ingredients will pour onto the streets of Rivashal. Not the east across the river, but west. The vulnerable, the weary. Well, at least this solves one mystery. What is that, Lieutenant? Why I had to call East Motor Tract and beg them to open the drawbridge for me. I wondered since... I've, I'd wondered since I first drove in on my motor carriage. I'm sorry for the inconvenience, Lieutenant Kutsuragi, but we needed them trapped here. This is a unique opportunity. I'm sure you understand why you come to the RCM earlier. We did on more than one occasion. Apparently, there's some sort of inter precinct disagreement about whose jurisdiction this falls under. Sorry, this area falls under. We know the company has launched its own probe into the union's alleged involvement. We also know it's come up empty. It's not just the RCM. No one's been able to find any hard evidence. Well, she smiles and points toward the roundabout. Here's your chance, officers. What proof do you have the union's involved? How do you think they're financing the strike? There are thousands of unpaid dock workers going strong for the fourth month straight. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. There was a shakedown of local businesses preceding the strike. Many were squeezed to bankruptcy to fund it. With all due respect to these desert cacti, the contents of a few cash registers cannot provide for 2,000 men. The local businesses can scarcely provide for themselves. So you think the strike is being funded with source ingredients for drugs, precisely smuggled out of that very gate at night, most likely, then loaded onto lorries and driven to Jamrock. You simply need to find one driver who will open up to you. Sounds like she tried looking into it herself, though she's clearly not the type your, type your typical lorry men would confide in. 
We already have some sisters from the blah, blah, blah. Okay, I kind of feel like we shouldn't say this because it's like giving her inf information of the of the investigation. But at the same time, I don't know why I kind of trust her. But maybe that's because she's a good negotiator and we shouldn't. Hmm. I'm not going to tell her that. Made up my mind. All right. We will take this case, probe the drivers, see, see what it yields. There's no way we can take the case. All right, we'll accept. Excellent. She takes a long sip of tea. According to my reports, there are at least three lorry drivers lingering near the roundabout. Hopefully one of them will know something. It may come to nothing or it may just blow the case wide open. I can see that keep the drawbridge up for a few more days at least. You should have the time you need. In the meantime, let me know if there's any other way I might be maybe of assistance. She takes another long sip from her seemingly bottomless thermal cup. 20%, 20%. I just like taking chances. Take a chance, take a chance, take a take a chance, chance, take a chance, take a chance, take a take a chance, chance. Nope. I'm sorry, it just doesn't come out of your mouth. What does is... Money. I am the scum of the earth. Surprisingly eloquent, really. The last one, not the first three. Those are ape speak. I am the scum of the earth. My, she doesn't know what to say to say... Why do you say that? I'm gunk. That's garbage. You're a police officer. No, I'm not. I'm gunk. I'm the stuff people have under their fingernails. Let's talk about something else, please. Of course. <laughs> Of course, it's have to take care. All right. So let's go talk to the person at the uh, Whirling and Rags and see if we can sleep for the night. Damn, doesn't that text look good on that window? Whoa, what's this down here? The coin operated viewer is facing south. The instruction manual says to insert 25 cr centims and pull the handle while looking inside. Then use the focus knob to zoom in and if necessary. Uh, why place a tourist attraction in the middle of such poverty? What's the tourist attraction doing here? There was a revitalization project in the 49 design studio tried restoring Martinez to its pre-war glory. The lieutenant looks around and concludes it didn't stick. What happened? They got as far as the street lamps and the statue on the intersection. Then something went sour. He lowers his voice. I suspect that some, I suspect that something was Evart Claire, the union leader. He muscled them out. It's how it usually goes around here. Cool. I dig organized crime. It's the best. Can't we do something about it? We should have done something about the union 10 years ago. That ship is sailed, officer. Let's insert a coin. Your money disappears in the coin slot. A clunk, of, a clunk, the ring of metal. Pull the handle and look inside. The curtains on the display open. You lean in to catch the view. It's blurry, different blues and greens. In the middle of the shimmer stands a, dra a drab gray shape. It's like a ghost. <sighs> Turn the knob to focus your vision. Oh, we got five experience to this. The lenses shift. The ghost sharpens into an islet at the in the bay. In the in the ruins, a man-made structure is visible. A half-sunken sea fort. It's concrete, almost reconquered by nature. It looks as if it was abandoned quite some time ago. Nothing but a rotten tooth remains of the anti-aircraft tower. A lonely birch tree grows out of it. Its leaves ripped from it by the winter wind. Hang in there, little one. There are some there are ruins of some kind of building there. Hang in there, little one. The little brave birch tree seems to wave back in the wind. Really? I don't have the eyesight to make it out. The lieutenant takes off his glasses and cleans them. Leave. This coin-operated viewer is facing southwest. Its coin slot is full of fossilized bubble gum, rendering the machine permanently inaccessible. Poor little viewer. Pat it. The metal feels cold and wet under your palm. It looks unhygienic. Vandalism. Shake your head. Probably some kids. The lieutenant inspects the rig slot. Look inside. A thick layer of graffito uh, covers the lenses. You spell out the word O-Nuck written on the other side with N and C scribbled backwards. That's Kuno on the lens. Shift your focus to the background. Under the graffito, a sea of blues and grays appear. Leon behind the water. Uh, lies a coast studded with concrete and reeds. On it, a church on stilts, lanky, weather-worn wooden planks, an X-shaped cross topping its tower. You know this those to be the star of Pericarnassus? Carnassus? Nasus? Or the Chihiro, Chihiro, the central symbol of the park 
Canisian church, a star, a great moral height to be strived toward. I think we got like maybe four years more of streaming before every single word can have a meme attached to it. The church looks old and weather worn, but not that weather worn. There are no lights in the windows. Around the wooden, large wooden building, you see chunks of sea ice gathered on the beach and a small tent set up on the ice. All right, I want to see what this is, and then we're going to go to the whirling rags. Better mouth. Better mouth your watch around me, boy, hick. Ooh, some money. All right. I talked to you, but I just don't have the, like, the one hour to spare right now. Sorry. Okay, by 2 in the morning, everyone's asleep. Okay, so it seems like 2 in the morning is the cutoff, but maybe we need to, like, go to sleep early tonight for whatever reason. Or maybe we can resolve it early. Let's see. Can I help you? Gart, the cafeteria manager, can I help you? Goodbye. Okay, I thought we were supposed to talk to him. Cam? Yes? No? Can I help you? So about the money I owe. I was wondering if we could come to some sort of arrangement for tonight. Hmm. Does that arrangement include you paying me what we already agreed you owe me? I will pay you back tomorrow. I'm an honest cop. It's a cold out. I'll freeze to death because I'm losing the stupid money money game. Come on, man. After everything I've been through, Kim is about to say something. Let him. He just his glasses. I understand your predicament as a manager. However, I feel I must remind you that we are here to conduct an important investigation that also affects your business. Forgive me for saying this, but your colleague seems more committed to drinking and he stops my sentence. I mean no offense. It, it's really nothing personal. I just have to protect the interests of this establishment. Hold on. I still have my key, you know. This conversation isn't going anywhere, is it? Still have my key. Good luck trying to use it. He taps his foot against the metal box installed in the back of the counter. All the locks have an electronic component. They have to be unlocked down here with a master key before your guest key will open the lock. <laughs> I'll find a way in. I'll break the door down. This conversation isn't going anywhere, is it? Not until you bring me the money. Okay, he turns to you with a heavy sigh. I might have something in my motor carriage we can use when you're done here. Oh, Lieutenant, we're done here. Are we supposed to be able to sing at some point? Doesn't look good. All right, Kim, what do you have in your motor carriage that we can use? Is it money? How much money do we have? Wait, what's going on here? Okay, we can't level up. Um, we have new thoughts, but we don't have any slots for them. I kind of want to get JMS Vu. Uh, we can replace one, can't we? Or does that cost a point? Forget. Does forgetting cost a point? I think it does, right? Hmm. I can level up, really? Oh. Okay, I forgot about this. All right, so now we have a skill point. Okay, do we want to upload? Do we want to upload? Do we want to upgrade one of these things, or do we want to rigorous self critique, or do we want to get JMS Vu? Oh, I just actually spent on a half flight. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I forgot how the UI works. All right, can I reload? Because I didn't want to do that. Load game. Autosave, Martinez. How long ago was that? That was a long time ago. All right, we're committed. Oh, no. Quick saves? No. All right, well, that's what we have. Sorry, chat. So you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, a pull out. Okay, we saw that before. I have something here we could sell. Look in the back in the suspect transport enclosure. Transport enclosure. Regular people just call it the cage. Look in the suspect transport enclosure. 
The cage at the back of the motor carriage looks rather uncomfortable. Four shiny hubcaps are stacked against the seat. Their silver edges sparkle in the dark. I confiscated these four a little while back. We can take them to the pawn shop down by the Martinese Canal. What are those things? What do you mean confiscated them? You said something about a pawn shop? What are these things? They're spinner hubcaps, frivolous things you put on your wheels. When the wheels come to a stop, he makes a spinning motion with his hands. The caps keep on spinning. There's no real use of them. It's just for vanity. <laughs> what? Um, apparently, it's been an hour since I last heard out sub. Sorry about that. I think there are five here. Uh, thank you very much to the other Jace for the 313 sub. Oh, yeah. Prime time. Thank you very much. Sorry, it took me so long to, to get to these. Uh, that was a very long conversation. Time just flies by with this. Uh, thank you, N Sins, for the 24 and 3. So, welcome to, to your club, N, N Zins. Uh, I plan on playing this too, so I'm not going to stay for long. Glad to see you're having fun, JPH Morg. Oh, so you don't know it took me so long to say this out loud. You'll you'll hear this in in the VOD Boy land if you come back to it, and you won't even know. You'll be like, oh, I guess I slept later than I remember. Damn. Thank you, N Zins. Too bad I gave it away. <laughs> hope you uh, hope you enjoy the game when you get around to it. Thank you, Zorgrox, for 100 bits. What I really love about this game is the red checks affect the game the most. You'll find a lot of references to them later. That's where the main branches and dialogue occur, as well as affecting other checks later on. The red checks. Hmm. I feel like I've barely gotten into this game, despite spending so many hours talking to people. I wonder how much slower it is the way that we're doing it. Uh, thank you, Wakeyfield, for the 6 month resub. Rise and Shiner sign. So long. Farewell. Thank you, Wakeyfield. Uh, Multi Master World cheered a bunch and then says, Joe, I'm off to sleep. Hope that you're sleeping well already, Multi Master World. Thank you, Jonathan Simple, for the 813 sub. Thank you very much. Thank you, Anti Skill FTW. Uh, three months for the win. I save my prime for you with a heart. Oh, that's nice of you, Anti Skill. Thank you very much for saving, saving, uh, saving your prime. Thank you very much. And last but not least, Pat G or Pat J for the six month resub. Thank you very much. A vanity he wouldn't mind. Hmm. What do you mean you confiscated them? A couple weeks ago, I stopped a young man for going slower than the speed of traffic. He turns out he was some coalition's of coalition official's son and high, and you took his spinners. Look at Kim. Isn't that corruption? Look at the spinners. I get it. I would have confiscated them too. They're mesmerizing. That they are. <laughs> Lieutenant looks at the spinners in size. I was going to take them into evidence, but they weren't necessary for conviction. He never asked. He never asked them back. Um, did you want to put these spinners on your machine? Point to the point at Kinema. No, no, that would be silly. I just he hesitates. I don't know why I kept them. It doesn't matter. I couldn't put them on the, this MC anyway. A cop with spinners. That would be outrageous. Yes, outrageously cool. <laughs> He watches a smile. <laughs> Barely visible in the dark, say nothing. The spinner the spinner shines so bright they reflect on the lieutenant's glasses. He doesn't say anything either. Sorry, I can't take them. It wouldn't be right. Alright, let's not take them now. Then come back once we realize we have to. Ha have, have this conversation again and then take them. Sounds likely. Close the door. Alright. I'm not taking them from Kim. Kim is best boy. Let's just sleep on this bench. The worn and beaten wooden planks of the bench do not look overly comforting. Hmm. Lieutenant looks down the street. We can sit on benches after we've solved the murder. Let's go. You can revisit the bench if you ever need to pass time when Lieutenant Kurtsurugi is gone. Oh, <gasps> he's going to be gone? Whoa, whoa, whoa what was that? Sewer grate, a gateway to the river of filth. Don't be afraid to say weird things. People are more forgiving to persons of power like police officers. Sure. Some kind of machine, an antique cash register. Welcome to the pawn shop. A bust of a woman. The plaque simply says DEI. In the dark, a film projector is whirring away. Knickknack stands. You see rows of toy soldiers guarding the rest of the trinkets displayed on the table. Some on horseback, others in rags, others yet in bright blue uniforms. All are stern and unyielding in their duty. Try to find something pretty and cool here, then use it to win her back. 
win her back, inspect the knights on horseback, inspect the blue uniforms, inspect the figurines and rags, dig up a truly cool figurine in the box under the table, win her back. Yes, buy something nice, a figurine, inspect the knights on horseback. Big man on big horses clad in laminar armor and carrying flint, flint locks, the f kind that would mow down a line of enemy soldiers in the blink of an eye. Point at the knights on horseback. These are Franco-Nigerian cavalry, right? Mm-hmm. I used to be very serious about my Franco-Nigerian knights. He looks at the dusty figurines and then my... Oh, let's get one for Kim. He's best boy. Inspect the blue uniforms. They're not all blue. These figurines also wear gold coats and caps complemented by orange trousers. They are variously posed, wielding swords and rifles with bayonets. Point at the blue figurines. Are these royalist soldiers? Which ones? Bird's Nest Roy. The man peers from his glass box. Ah, those. Yes, they are. I find the paint job a bit gaudy, but children like bright colors indiscriminately. Do you have any statues? Inspect the figurines and rags. This set of soldiers isn't meant to look impressive. A few have rifles, but most of them carry pistols. Some even shovels and tall sticks. Point to the figurines and rags. Are these even soldiers? Uh, you're probably talking about revolutionaries. Yes, the man behind the glass answers. Yes, they are soldiers. Revolutionary sh shoulders. I think their poverty has been exaggerated for a fact. When you place them next to the royalists, it doesn't seem they could possibly win. It's meant to give people hope. Even we can do it. The contrast is meant to be disheartening, as it ought to be. It is impossible to win against the cohorts of capital. Uh, <laughs> ask my friend Gart, who's bitch it made me. I wish it was more nuanced. As it stands, I can't, cannot comment. Number one. Maybe. Alright, interfacing. Really? We just lost a 58% chance? God damn it. Rhetoric. Hey, psst, look around. Who, me? Yes, you. Word on the street is you're ready to start building communism again. Again? How come there's word on the street again? Yes, you've, you're you ready to start building communism again. You've built it before. They've built it before. Hasn't really worked out yet, but it either has love. <laughs> <laughs> should we just stop building love too? Can't argue with that. Yes, we should all stop building love. Love has worked out really well for me. I'm a love winner. Good. We need tender men like you building gargantuan communism. Word on the street is it's going to be 10,000 times larger than any communism previously attempted by human beings. Is that right? This is this is exactly how it works in real life. Once you start get, getting communist, communist thoughts, this is exactly what happens. You hear the voice in your head and that's it. You're gone. How come there's word on the street? You keep saying things like, down with the bourgeois, eat the rich, sodomize the landowners, impale all people who have more than 25 real in their pocket, literally murder all human beings regardless of their political beliefs, that kind of stuff. All right, that sounds like me. I haven't said anything like that. I've said some mildly left-wing things, but none of those. <laughs> Oh yes, the mask of ambivalence. Don't deny it, you're about to rip it off and reveal the monstrous seven-eyed lamb of global communism that will devour and masticate mankind. Everyone can see that. So tell me, do you have any questions before we fire up the big communism builder, or do we get right down to it? Wait, first, what's this communism even about? Roll up your sleeves and start building communism. Opt in. It's too tiring. I don't have it in me. I'm beat down and broken. Opt out. Failure. It's about failure. Fail failure. Yes, abject failure. Total irreversible defeat on all fronts. Absolutely vanquished. Beaten, curb stomped, and pissed on until you came along. You will reverse the fortune of the workers of the world. You alone, against every living thing, against every human alive, 800 trillion real in the hands of an impossibly well-organized ruling class. Towering city blocks of bankmen who have the ears of prime ministers. Million-headed armies of nations and the love of your own mother. You against the atom, the charm, and the spin. Where the whole world failed, matter failed to bend to human will, human will failed to get out of bed and tie its laces, you alone, single-handedly, will rebuild the dreams of the working class. You are the last communist. Fuck, I'm, I'm convinced. Now get to work, comrade. I'm convinced. Oh yeah, get the firing squads and the animal wagons ready. Wait, firing squads? You didn't say anything about those too late to back out now. You can't make an omelette without breaking a few million eggs. Roll your sleeves up further and breathe in the pristine air. Finish thought. Mm. 
mostly military wear with a few more eccentric fashions thrown in. Sawed off street light, a typical Martinet street light sits among assorted floor and lamp and floor and table lamps. Let your gaze run over the street light. The light pole has been carefully cut and wiring has been redone and attached to a standard indoor plug. The light buzzes faintly but persistently. This would make quite a statement in your living room. Is that a street light? Yes, officer. As you can see, it's in perfect working order. Where did you get this? It was brought to me brought to me to be altered. He leans in so the pawnbroker wouldn't hear him. We're not here to investigate the theft of city property. He pauses, studying the light, then adds, You have to admit, it's rather clever what he's done with it. How much for the street light? 700 real, a bargain, I dare say. Are you out of your mind? There's one just like that on every corner. Even taking into account the risk of obtaining the light, that seems a bit steep. 700 sounds about right. I imagine it wasn't easy sawing off that street lamp. Wow, you can get 700? Hey, I don't know where it came from, but it's not every day you get to buy and sell something so extraordinary. We have 16! Okay, do we, are we able to, like, corrupt ourselves out at some point for, like, 4,000 real or something? There's nothing else you need to know about the light. Leave. Alright. Alright, let's save it, just in case we accidentally give us our, ourselves a shitty fucking skill point. The boomboxes on the shelf look well-loved and well-traveled. Chipped, dented, they stare at you with um, with the unblinking eyes of their tape reels. Stand on the tips of your toes to see more. One especially catches your eye, deep gold and amber plastic with a big ha old handle on top, a classic boombox that says, Stereo 8 approved. This is you, golden orange, a sunset suite. Just make sure it works before you buy it. Shopkeep! This stereo aid approved machine here is the Harman Wauschi W02, made in Vesper, designed in Seoul. He says, plays all reel to reel formats 2mm, two, 8mm, uh, two 12mm. It's even got a little radio in there. It'll set you back 12 real. Oh man! Oh man! But we're in debt. What I really want to know is, could this device come in handy in my police work? Are you sure this is this is all in working order? If police work means playing tapes, sure, you can use it for that, or any other time you need to play a tape. Absolutely, I've tested each one myself with recordings of speech, found sounds and music from a variety of genres, even though he grimaces, I don't really like music. Don't like music? What do you, what do you like then? The stuff I record myself, silverware shaking in drawers as motor cars race by, nocturnal animals climbing on the roof, airship rotors, that kind of thing. Oh, you're the guy from, from American Beauty, all right. Hmm, all right, I'm not getting it. All right, let's talk to this dude. Let's talk to this dude. It's not often that I see officers of the RCM in my pawn shop. The man at the counter turns to you slowly. Uh, thank you, Malisfero, for the eight month resub. Thank you very much. I have a feeling we're getting into another long conversation here, so I should say thank you before we get into it. Thank you, Malisphere. Oh, man. Game is dense. Dense as fuck. Fucking, fucking dense game, Morty. It's too dense. Oh, have anyone, has anyone, like, cashed in some monocoins while we've been into this? Let's see. Review, request, queue. Nope, nope. Okay. All right. Uh, also, I lowered the price of the monocoins for... Uh, modifying an emote and unlocking an emote, and I got rid of the random emote choice. I think that's dumb. So now it's just 300 mana coins. You get to choose an emote to unlock if you're not a sub. Um, I lowered it all. So you, I think um, you get around 200 mana coins an hour. So in, in any stream, you should be able to unlock an emote that whatever you want, that sort of thing. What can I do for you? He asks. His courtesy is not insincere, but he prefers being alone with his projector, just watching the movement of light across walls on the shop. Sorry, I feel like I'm interrupting you, shake your head. It's shameful how insufficient the police presence is in these parts. Now that the RCM is here, tell me, have you had any trouble lately? Number oh one. no, not at all. I, oh, I guess I haven't had many customers lately, RCM or otherwise. Who are your customers usually? All kinds of people come through here. Locals, travelers, people looking for a deal, people looking for a keepsake, people who are terminally bored. As you can see, I have a wide selection of goods for everyone to choose from. <laughs> Quite the collection indeed. Typical vacuous co consumerist objects. Honestly, I think some of your selections are... 
Press your finger to your, to your lips. More tasteful than others. This business plan is all over the place. You should specialize. Zoom in. Recapitalize, says the communist. It keeps me entertained. His attention is drawn once more to the play of light and shadow on the walls behind you. Challenging. 12. Is Roy high? And if yes, then what is he on? Yes! Feeling warm and enthralled by the movement of light while the mind continues to race forward, lucky bastard, he's probably on Pier Holodon. It's tough to come by on the street. Pier Holodon? What is that? A drug developed by the military to treat and prevent radiation sickness. It has psychedelic side effects and it makes your eyes turn yellow. Is it just me or is it really warm in here? Look around, step closer. Sir, could you take off your sunglasses? I'd like to check your eyes. Get straight to the point. So, where does a man get... <laughs> You're holding on these. <laughs> oh my good. Number three. He takes a step back, studying you. How would I know? There's a note of indignation in his voice. Interesting. It's pretty obvious that you're under the influence, sir. No judgment. Just curious. I probably did loads of Pierre Holodon before I lost my memory. Chill out, man. I'm a chill out cop who just wants some of what you're having. Wink to. I've had to take it, you know, since the people's pile cleanup. He responds carefully. I was with the emergency relief brigade. He's taking it for mental and emotional, not, not physical pain these days. The people's pile, what's that? A bad idea. Some poor left leftists built a particle decay generator. Yeah, of course they would, in hopes of bringing affordable electricity to underserved communities. It malfunctioned. Radioactive waste everywhere. Probably some of it in you, too. Shitty communist energy, that's what it is. The People's Pile was a Type U particle decay generator that failed immediately after entering service, releasing radioactive waste into River Esperance. Just like Twitter, what is the particle delay generator? Or what is a primitive nuclear reactor, also called a pile? Why did it? Why is it called the People's Pile? Construction began during the Commune of Rivashal. The people continued work on it after the Commune fell. They wanted a cheap source of energy for Rivashal West. Needless to say, things didn't work out. Why did it fail? An emergency valve defect. Valve defect resulted in steam pressure blowing the turbine, taking the fuel containment vessel up in the explosion. Both the faulty design and lack of finances contributed to the catastrophe. Tell me more about this emergency relief brigade you were a part of. He points at the white triangle on his orange safety jacket. We were an all-volunteer force, self-organized, tried to help fire brigades contain the spill. I lived by the river since I was a small boy. The Esperance didn't have the heart to let it all go to shit without trying to do something to help out. There wasn't much the volunteer force could do, however. He wasted years in the river mud, years getting sick. He looks at the spiraling light and stops. It must have been tough, radioactive cleanup. He hesitates. There's a reason why everyone's tried to forget any of it ever happened, and why no one has tried to repair or replace the pile. I will try. So much disappointment. <laughs> this is a 1% chance. Yeah, let's try it. So much disappointment and early deaths, cancer mostly, and we all knew, and we knew all that was coming even as we were cleaning up as best we could whose fault was it that the generator failed no one's everyone's he sighs and shakes his head yep that's communism so much bitterness a bunch of poor people built themselves a primitive nuclear reactor hoping for the best what did you what did you think what do you think is going to happen had you ended up running a pawn shop <clears throat> this cleanup happened 15 years ago i was young then later my second aunt died left me the shack and sort of junk in it so i came to martinez people told me don't go there it's just a shithole i said people we just had a nuclear pile meltdown i'm going to get as far from Faubourg as i can still in the same city but he shrugs thank you for telling me conclude he shrugs i like theory more than story outward move movement not vortices yeah you got to get in on those vortices my man care to share your pure holiday with me there's something i'd like to sell you might be able to aid our investigation by the way do you happen to have any do you happen to have any guns like the ones carried by officers of the citizens and militia let's go let's ask him for drugs you said you never before yeah it's almost like he's worried for you lieutenant steps away pretending to admire some of the knickknacks on display looks like he doesn't want to get involved he won't be your narc but he won't be thrilled about this either okay so i mean like we, we didn't drink so i feel like maybe we shouldn't do this I think I tried it once and liked it. I haven't, but don't worry, I can take it. I ride the pyro every day. Well, all right. Oh. oh. Well. Here you go, man. He presents a large cap-shaped object on the palm of his hand. Very odd looking. Thanks, man. Take the pure holodon. Actually, I changed my mind. I don't need any pure holodon. Refuse to take the holodon for now. Yeah, let's, let's, let's not take it. There's something I'd like to sell. Let me have a look. Uh, I like to sell my clothes. I have a fascinating photo of a corpse. <laughs> 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 
Alright, I'll check my pockets. I'll check my pockets. Access your fallen menu. Uh shit. Alright, so Lieutenant's handkerchief. Well, he'll pay for that. Alright. Blue oblong pen. Shot put ball from the shot put ball killer. A ball used to play shot put. You feel like you should hold on to this and make good use of it to sell such a beautiful old school sports script would be a sin. Alright, I'm not selling it then. Maybe we need it for something. Um, this also looks like it's used for something. Delta, Delta 51. Sunlight. No, we won't keep that. Um, okay, we can we can we can fix this. Uh, empty cassette case. Okay, so I feel like I I shouldn't I shouldn't sell anything because even if I do sell it all, I'm still not gonna have enough money to pay the debt. Um, so I'm not gonna sell anything. Maybe we can sell some clothes. I like to sell my clothes. I'm not purchasing any more clothing at the moment. He looks you up and down quickly. Hmm. I have a fascinating photo of a corpse here. Show him the photo. Oh no, I don't like those kinds of objects. No sale. He barely even looks at it. Do you know what these tat do you know what the tattoos mean? He frowns. Apotic paths. A apotic? Af Aphotic? Aphotic paths? Like aphorism, aphotic paths, counter radiance networks, anti magnetism, it's darkness, that's all I know. Sell me something lighter. You have absolutely no idea what aphotic paths are, but the tattoos on the man are not that. I don't have anything to sell at the moment. All right. You might be able to invade our investigation. I doubt it, but I can try to answer any questions. You have no anything about the recent hanging. I do my best to keep my distance from all manner of butchery. Bad for business, bad for everyone. He doesn't know anything. I think you could help me get a corpse out of a tree. The corpse behind the hostel. I assume he looks into the swirling lights and then to you. I don't have a truck with a mounted platform or anything of that sort myself. Ask around the harbor. There might be some workers there who'd be willing to help. Actually, that's all I've got. The pawnbroker's gaze is already fixed on the dancing colors. By the way, do you happen to have any guns like the ones carried by officers of the citizens' militia? Someone else came here earlier today asking the same question. I promptly sold her the gun you pawned a couple days back. This is a pawn shop, and it did feel as if you've met before. Oh, God. Lieutenant shifts from one feet to another, alert. Wait, I sold you my gun? What's the buyer? A policeman, too? You, uh... You were adamant about getting rid of it, officer. He hesitates. Said you were undeserving of a service weapon of the Rivashal Citizens Militia. And I don't like keeping guns around the shop for long. Off the charts, photon emissions, the unhealthy kind. He's not telling you the whole story. It seems he's trying to spare you. I feel like there's something you're something you're not telling me. He looks away. You weren't quite yourself, officer. What was I like? You were very distraught. You said the gun was a threat to your life and that you can't trust yourself with it tonight and you need the money. When I said I don't normally buy firearms, you put the gun barrel in your mouth and sort of sucked on it. <laughs> Then I agreed to take it. Wait, how much did I sell the gun for? 15 real. Lieutenant looks looks from you to Roy and then back to you. It's clear that he hopes this tableau might still not turn out to be a bad dream. It's not, though. There's pity there, too, just in case you didn't notice. Happens to the best of us, I guess. I really should have killed myself. Maybe I still will one of these days. Yeah, there we go. The light swirls in his face and glasses. He doesn't know what to say. Was the buyer a policeman, too? She didn't seem like a policeman, although she kept referring to herself as a pig, which was odd. I found her interest in the gun a bit obsessive, but I was just happy to get rid of it and of her. The artist girl? Truth be told, she was terrifying. Right, so let me get this straight, Lieutenant Turns to you. You sold your sidearm, issued by the Citizens Militia, and now a civilian is running around the streets of Martinez with it. Miraculously, his face does not reveal what's happening inside. There's only one explanation. She must be one of my rabid fans. Maybe she's a vigilante, wants to prove she can do our jobs better than we can. I don't like it either. What if she intends to commit a crime and blame it on the Citizen Militia? I'm sorry. I'm sorry I sold my gun. Sorry, cop run confirmed. He sighs. Yeah, it's not good. I do hope we manage to clean this mess up somehow while I also keep our focus on the murder investigation. This mess, he means your mess. Any idea where I can find this buyer? My apologies, officer, but I have no idea where she was coming from or where she went. Damn, Cotton Eye Joe. A needle in a haystack. There's nothing you can hope to do about it now. You'll just have to hope. Sorry. The way, the way the lines just m fucking smash together when I read. You'll just have to hope uh, you luck upon it somehow. Okay, at least I know how I lost my sidearm. Let's talk about something else. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I want to ask about my missing gun again. Thanks for review. Nothing else. All right, let's leave. All right, this does not take quite as long as I thought. All right, let's go talk to the girl then, because because the, the pig thing seems like a clue. Sorry in Finn's voice. Naf. Finn's way too much of a chad to say sorry. Finn doesn't say sorry. Leo says sorry all the time. I'm s sorry, Daddy. I I re sorry.
I'm almost through the release of VOD and I fucking hate it. It's so tedious. You hate you hate the game or you hate my playthrough of it? That wasn't one of my best playthroughs, so um, if you didn't like it, that's fine. I understand. I thought the game was interesting, though. All right, do you have my gun? Hello again, officers. Have you come to admire my mural? You sound like one of the characters from the, the Bloodborne DLC. I'm a Robin. You mean Joyce? On a first name basis with her, are we? Piggy's moving up in the world. While the negativity, yeah, I don't like her either. She gives you a stately nod of approval. Pig's not half as dumb as he looks. Catch you later, Cindy. Alright, so she doesn't have the gun. Alright, I don't know where to go now. It's getting kind of late. What if we just don't sleep? Staying up on his disco, right? Should we sell the rims? I don't want. I don't want to sell his rims. I feel like. I feel like Kim. Kim wants the rims. Oh, it's closed. It's closed. I'm gonna save it. We better heal up once before going to bed. Just saying. Hmm. I guess we have to. I mean, I don't want to, but, like, maybe if you know exactly what you're doing, you can get enough money on the first day. This is something about a pawn shop. Yes, the birds, nice for Thanks, I appreciate your help. Intent on you take the spinners. All right, I feel bad for Kim. Ask that rich leech choice. We did and we failed. We failed it. A crumpled billboard reading Samarin butter soaks in the canal. Two ugly lines mar the bright countenance of the blonde boy depicted. What is Samarin butter? Whatever it is, the boy on the billboard seems very happy about it. Goat milk butter. The Samarin terrain makes it easier for to raise goats than cows, and the local goat farmers produce high-quality meat and dairy staples that add variety to the other nation's diets. It's an acquired taste. Alright, time time to fucking fail a 92% check. Ooh. Judging by the size of the impact and the parallel lines of burnt rubber, the cause was probably a motor vehicle. These look like the same tire tracks I saw earlier in front of the whirling and rags. Look at the crater. Side slip marks indicated that the vehicle was traveling up the crater at 35 kilometers an hour. Look at the roof of the shack. <laughs> the black marks on the roof indicate the vehicle vaulted from the crater to the roof of the shack. Look at the, look at the metal roof pattern. Uh, the panel served as a takeoff ramp. The vehicle soared through the air, hitting the billboard and upsetting the posts. Then it continued its flight, taking the billboard with it. The sign broke the vehicle's fall into the canal. The Samaritan butter billboard still looks freshly painted, suggesting it took the plunge recently. How recently? Within the past 72 hours. Look at the opposite bank. Still speeding, the vehicle made a loop and vanished into the fog along the coast. What was the model of this phantom vehicle? There are two good candidates, the Corpri 40 and the Lina G22. Why the Corpri 40? It's about the right size and the tire marks look like they came from the skinny tires frequently found on that motor carriage. The Corpri 40 is a very popular model with bank clerks, topping pie delivery drivers, secondary school teachers, cops, strippers dressed as cops, <laughs> undressed strippers. Uh, why the Lini Linea G22? Very sturdy with but light motor carriage, more likely than most to survive that jump. The Linea G22 is not a particularly popular model due to its peculiar proportions, which the manufacturer's design team probably thought about for too long. What now? Now you'd have to you'd have to follow the tracks to be sure. Blink, leave. The lieutenant looks on, waiting for you to wrap up your analysis. Hmm. Any theories about what happened here? He gazes down at the sign. Looks like someone was in a real hurry. Reckless traffic, hooliganism, some top shelf shenanigans. I want to meet the driver and shake her hand. 
What kind of card do you think it was? I think it was a Capri 40. I believe it was a Linea G22. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with the Capri. He seems impressed. That's quite likely from what I can tell. I have some ideas about who, who it might have been. <clears throat> do we? He raised his eyebrows. Oh, it had to be someone really cool and courageous. It was someone dangerous. Perhaps this is somehow connected to the murder. The traffic hooliganism? I hope not. Fortunately, we're not traffic cops. Should we get back to the murder? We should bring this driver to justice. Take the task. He sighs, if we must. Damn, so many tasks. Hey, you want some rims? Hello, hello. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Do you know anything about the traffic menace on the loose traffic? I'm sorry, officer, but I don't drive. Wait, you don't drive? I just don't like it very much. Movement on the road never really gelled. Geld? Gelled? With the movement of my thoughts. But didn't you hear it when the traffic menace drove over your roof? Now I think about it, I do remember hearing a thunderous noise the other night. Some kind of powerful electric vortex hitting the shop and then moving on. That sure narrows down our list of suspects. A vortex sounds fascinating. Yeah, it was pretty wild. I didn't really know what to make of it, but I know it meant something. Hmm. So I'm like the cell. Yes, we have to sell these hubcaps. The lieutenant steps in and hands him the spinners. Roy takes the hubcaps from the lieutenant and inspects them. The spinners appear iridescent in the dancing light of his pawn shop. He marvels at the cobalt shimmer and nods. Yes, these are very, very good. Did you defraud some foreign prints for them? Jump a mask banger? No matter, I'll give you 200 real. 200 real? No one was defrauded or jumped, I assure you. The lieutenant explains as the pawnbroker opens the register and counts the cash. Of course, I meant no offense. 200 real for you, officer. Delightful doing business with you. Do come again. Thank you. He takes the cash and turns to you. Here's the 60 real you need for your bill. Do not waste it. The rest goes into his pocket. No, you only need to give me 40 whatever. Like, we already had some. The rest is for him to compensate for the pain of being separated from his radiant spinners. The windfall is a small consolation. I feel really bad. I don't have anything to sell at the moment. Man. Poor Kim. Well, your fault for not getting the money in a different way. I, I woke up drunk into this life. I never asked for this. We didn't start the fire. Look at this shit. Look, look, look how much of a sorry cop we are. We're really sorry. Here's your money. Oh, what's that? Help you. I need to. <laughs> About that money I owe. I have your money. He goes to you suspiciously well. Here's the real. Slam the bills down on the counter. I hope you choke on it. Here it is. Sorry for the trouble. Seven experience. Great. Thank you, officer. That's all I wanted. Payment for services rendered. If you continue to stay here, I just ask that you please pay your nightly bill in advance starting tomorrow. He's not sorry about his behavior for your sake. Now that you have money, he really wants to make sure you're not angry with him. He takes off out, out his keychain and fiddles with the mechanism behind the counter. The electronic, electronic lock to your room has been disabled till uh, nine tomorrow. Please pay for each night in advance. Starting tomorrow, 20 real per night. He opens his wallet. I'll take a room here too. Of course, he takes the money and hands him a key ring. Always happy to have officers of from the RCM as guests. Anything else I can do for you? Nah. All right, Um. so we just leveled up, didn't we? Mm, yeah, we did. Okay, so... um. Do, 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 do we want to level up something that we can use somewhere? Do we want to level up our perception? Do we want to get a thought slot for to be a communist? JMAS view sounds interesting to me. Let's get that. But I think next we're going to get perception up. We can't get in there right now, right? No, we can't. All right, let's go, let's go to sleep.
Good night, Kim. Love you. Yes. Good night, Lieutenant. Just a moment. You had some questions earlier, I believe. And besides, we should discuss our progress on the investigation. Let's go out to the balcony. All right, let's go. Joe, your new goal should be get Kim the best present ever. Oh, you can have the shot put ball. The outside is brisk. The lieutenant is silent for a moment. He listens to the traffic hum then. Where shall we begin? He lights a cigarette. We should talk about the investigation, first and foremost. But I also remember you wanting to discuss the RCM. I didn't know you smoked, Kim. How do you think today went? So what are our powers exactly? The RCM, say nothing, just look into the night. I didn't know you smoked. I have a cigarette every night when I go over my notes. It's something of a ritual. Oh man, he looks so devastatingly cool with that cigarette. I think I might want to pick up smoking. Do you have any more cigarettes? How did you get so cool, Kim? <laughs> the light of a cigarette illuminates a fleeting smile. You mean this? He flicks the ash. This isn't cool. It's an unnecessary trial of will and, uh, and, and unhealthy. Right then, the debrief returned to it. Yes, he pulls on the cigarette. It's been a long and eventful day. How do you think today went? Well, we inspected the victim's body, so that's good. It's, it was not easily approachable in that state, but we did it. I would say our initial inspection was very thorough, and we have solid leads to follow up on. Then you shot him in the chest, which wasn't ideal. <laughs> we, we stopped to get him down from the tree. By not ideal, he means we can't. he can't believe he'd let you try that trick and would be angry if he didn't feel the outcome was partly his responsibility. I just wanted to make sure he was really dead. I admit, I'm a little out of practice. I still can't believe I missed that shot. Being sober tends to help with precision, but moving on to the interview- Hey, I'm stone cold sober! We weren't able to find the union leader, Everett Clare, much less interview him, so that's on the list to do this for tomorrow. We tried to interview the Wild Pines rep, but she asked us to do something for her first. Fine, so be it. He purses his lips. I have a feeling Joyce knows how dangerous the situation really is. We have to get her to talk to us. If Kim is emphasizing something this much, it really must be important. Above all, though, today was exhausting. What's with all the running? You have run a lot. Is that a standard Precinct 41 practice? I don't like to waste time, you know. My mind moves fast. The rest has to try to keep up. I'm training for a long-distance run. I want to raise money for charity. Yeah, that's just how we roll in Precinct 41. I don't know why I do the things I do, Lieutenant <laughs> Kusarugi. <laughs> he nods thoughtfully, tapping his finger on a cigarette. It's impressive, especially for a man your age, and in those heels. He looks at your snakeskin shoes and smiles. Suddenly, nice shoes, by the way. I like the green. It go goes with the orange. So what are our powers exactly, the RCM? They're quite limited, actually. The power officers of the Rivashal Citizens Militia exercise most frequently is imposed the power officers, okay, Reva Shelf systems exercise most frequently is imposing fines of up to 1,000 real for offenses in accordance uh, with an interdepartmental schedule. Hmm. 1,000, why not more? The RCM's primary role is to ensure safety. It's We're not really supposed to play any part in the economic restructure of Rivashal until now, communist cop. Wouldn't that be an easy power to abuse? Yes, although indirectly, as citizens can always request records from their local station. Officers of the RCM have been known to take bribes of less than the prescribed fine amount. He frowns. It undermines trust in the RCM. Damn, wish we'd known that sooner. We can arrest people, of course, but rather than bring someone in directly, it's prefer preferable to serve a station call slip. It prevents confusion and overcrowding. Wait, how can you be sure the arrestee will show up? You can't. Those those who don't have to sh those who don't show up become fugitives, though, and have fewer legal rights when they are eventually caught. It's about power projection. Thus far, they seem to mostly show up. I see. And if someone resists, as you may have gathered from the fact that we are expected to carry a record of our kills, like the one in your watermarks, we're permitted to use whatever force is necessary and strongly admonished not to abuse that power. Wait, so if I kill someone while on duty, what happens to the people we convict? Um, you have to supply compelling evidence for why it was necessary to use lethal force. In these cases, your partner is usually your witness. Not a good position to be in, by the way. Internal Affairs handles these cases thoroughly by cross-examining you for inconsistencies. It is hard to cover for anyone, which is for the best. What happens to the people we convict? We don't convict. We arrest and send them to, send them to coalition government courts in Koron and La Delta. The prosecution works off our testimonies and records, which is why it's paramount to keep them. He taps on his coat pocket, where he he keeps his notes and who makes all these rules 
the coalition government and moral moral intern more broadly. The RCM was formed by the coalition government to restore order in the international zone after the revolution. So we did. Now we attempt to maintain that order. No more, no less. His gaze is absently fixed on a window below that below that just went dark or perhaps it is better to say we were allowed to form it's a point of contention whether the citizens citizens of Rivashal or the coalition government funded sorry founded the rcm let's say it was the citizens of Rivashal. let's say it was the coalition government let's say it was the citizens be sentimental if you like either way the moral intern leases us the right to keep the peace in the city and they take it away if we misuse it they will take it away or if they think you do. The moral intern, what is it? The moral, the moralist international are the world's largest political organization. He pulls on his cigarette. You know who they are. They run this place after the revolution failed. If I didn't know, how would you describe them? They're a union of center left and center right parties across the real belt. What? Our coalition government is just one of its many projects. They also run the ICP, EPIS, most intergovernmental organizations in the world. What do they believe in? What do they believe in? They are DeLoreans. They believe they continue the humanist project set forth by her innocence, Dolores Diff... Diff... Day, Dolores Day, four centuries ago. Others say they're just technocrats. Those others say they continue the humanist project set forth by Dolores Day. What is their symbol? Interesting question. It's a blue forget me not. Their motto is love, compassion, self discipline. I think you can gauge what they want you to think of them from that. Something kind and usual. Something almost self explanatory. Something ominous. <laughs> Who is Dolores Day? A historic figure, the author of the modern age, he thinks you will have to look elsewhere for opinions. The subject of humanism is too abstract for me. What do you think of them? The moral intern are a fact. I try not to have opinions on facts until they change. And he looks at the city below. It doesn't look like that is about to happen. It's more than that. There's some kind of affection in him. You like the moral intern. Yes, I did when I was younger. In my 20s, I consider myself a moralist. A blue forget-me-not, a piece of the sky, he quotes. They're not all that bad. There's another leitmotiv associated with moralism. But the years have changed that I don't know what I believe in now, he thinks, then changes his mind. No, I believe in the RCM. That's enough for me. I have an opinion on the moral intern. Do you? The lieutenant arches his brow, then pulls on a cigarette. It's a slim white thing in his fingers. Things are bad out there, point to the city. We need them here, giving us the right to police Rivashal. They've done an awful job here. Have you seen the place? This isn't humanism. We are stooges of the world's biggest bourg bourg bourgeois organization, protecting bour bourgeois rights. I can never say that word. Mutter silently. Immigrants, liberal kips. Fucking men are turning into women. On second thought, I don't have an opinion. Forget about it. Um, I kind of feel like this place isn't doing all that well. So I guess number two. We are in what is called the twilight of international law. The laws we claim to enforce come from the MI. Without them, we are simply vigilante vigilantes. Actually, vigilantes is okay with me. Yeah, vigilantes sounds bad. Maybe we should make our own law. Spoken like a tr like a revolutionary, not a cop. But hypothetical aside, in Martinez we already are vigilantes. <sighs> at least the union thinks so. I expect our job here to prove quite challenging. He looks at the roundabout. Is that a say nothing? Just look into the night. The dying lights of the city shimmer below slowly, like luminous clouds. They pass on his lenses. Lieutenant looks at the, his slim cigarette, contemplating the next drag. An aerostatic passes overhead, the whiskers of its floodlights on ground below. I don't know what that is. Kitsuragi's glasses light up as he looks at the sky, two glowing circles, a true anime moment. Finally, he pulls on the cigarette and says, they really don't like us here. And the mouth on that kid, Kuno, it's different inland, like in, sorry, in Jamrock and the G-R-I-H. Why are they like this? It's our fault for leaving this place to the dogs, to the union, to the company. Not daring to come here more often. This place has fallen between the cracks. The jurisdictions of our two precincts. And in Jamrock and the G-R-I-A. Sorry, G-R-I-H. Continue. He looks at the dark silhouette. I'm getting kind of tired, sorry. He looks at the dark silhouette of the equestrian monument cutting into the night sky and says, We run the city. West of the river is RCM land. It's incredibly hard. Human beings are... He shakes his head, but we are in control and it's worth it. The organi organization works. Our systems work. If they didn't, the city would disintegrate. 
I hope our investigation will help improve the situation here. At least do some good. We won't change anything here. Let's go number one. Me too, he says quietly, but I wouldn't count on any drastic changes in our lifetimes. Thank you. Thank you for this. Leave. Yeah, it's getting very cold now. Let's go. He puts out the stub of his cigarette and looks to the door. All right, chat. Uh, spoil something on for me. If I hadn't sold the rims and got the money, what would have happened? Would it have just let me sleep inside or something? Or, or what? Soft lock. Someone says, yeah, you can't, if you can't get the money, you have to sell them. Hobo cop happened? I don't know. You know, you have to sell the money. Selling the rims is the last ditch. You die. Hmm. No soft lock. What is chat talking about? Uh, did we just level up? No, we don't. We didn't. No. Okay. Kim, do you think love can bloom? In Riva Shawl. See you in the morning. Love you, Cam. Wow, they didn't even fix our window. Does this connect to his room? Interfacing challenging 12. Use your chain cutters to fix the faucet. Stop steam from fogging up the mirror. Three percent. Tool not in hand. All right. I want to see Kim's room. Why didn't we just share a room, Kim? You could have kept your rims. Crawl in. The sheets feel at once coarse and clammy against your skin. The bed sags beneath your weight as you stretch out and finally close your eyes. Is cool voice coming back? And then sleep doesn't come, but I want to sleep. Why? Oh, this just got real. Uh, thank you, Henry Wayette, for the 100 bits. What will it take you to stream Pathologic 2? Mm. I don't know if I ever want to stream Pathologic 2. From what I've heard about the game, I think that might be a game I, that I would prefer to play all by myself, which is weird considering that we're streaming this right now. I haven't decided yet. But I want to sleep. Obviously, you're in bed with your eyes closed, but it's not happening. Why? Maybe it's the bed's fault. Check the pillow. Check the blanket. Roll over to the other side. Check the pillow. Its synthetic filling has separated into hard lumps. The pillowcase smells oddly. Check the blanket. It barely covers your toes, stretching over your soft belly. This is your body here, intimate and warm breathing. Under your thrumming eyelids, you see a dizzying array of colors. You won't get off this carousel quite so easily. Roll over to the side. It's a little better. Colors, scenes, and half-formed phrases still litter your mind. Part of you is still trying to solve the case, isn't it? Who killed him? Who? Something to do with... What was it What was it that the lieutenant said? Union? And it's gone again. Your thoughts lost between the slowing brave brain waves. No more thoughts. Fall asleep now. Your breathing steadies. A great silence washes over you until your eyelids twitch in your sleep and images. Images start forming. Let's go get some mana coins. Oh, it's a disco ball. 
That's cool. I like that. Do you remember the scent of your childhood? What is this? I remember nothing. I was born in a hospital where people usually go to die. I remember nothing. Do you remember your wife's hand on your face? Tell me what this is. I'm not answering before you tell me who you are. You said who? I left. I was left. You know who I am. I'm the bad day. The one where you ask her, and then later in the streets wandering. It's the worst day of all time, Harry dear. And it's coming. She will hear about it on the phone. Reality will turn into a grotesque nightmare. This will be the last thing you did to her. Tell me, do you remember the love of your life? You said who? Do you remember the warmth of her thighs between her legs and in her mouth? I left. Oh no, funky baby, you stay. It's like it was the stronger? rest of it that left. While you just stood there, with one hand on the bottle, and the other on your dick, watching it go. Gonna get brighter until it's morning. Tell me, where are your friends? Human beings have friends, Harry boy. Where the hell are yours? I can get it all back. I don't want to come back. I can get it all back. No. It's gone. Three times gone and never coming back. You failed. You failed me. You failed Elysium. What is Elysium? I've talked to you before. I can come back from this. Everything. The pile and the isolas on the surface. The outer magnetosphere. Burning, furious truth. Eight thousand years of written history. You really dropped the ball, Harry. The disco ball. 4.6 billion people, and you failed every single one of them. You really fucked up. I've talked to you before. No, Harry. You were just talking to yourself. That's all you ever do. Even in your dreams, and the act is wearing thin. The spots on the disco ball fade around you. You'll be back in those cold snakeskins in no time, sweating up the bed. Stinky boy. You're not coming back from shit. Thrashing around in that high conductivity state of yours. Bumping into things and acting like a clown? Who are you kidding? I'm trying to solve, trying to solve this case. You're trying to what? I can't hear you. This is just a word dream now. Jumbled up garbage. The pictures are gone. The bed rises to meet you. A thin, sleep-like state. More glass than velvet, grinding in your head. <laughs> So, something is wrong. Sleep shouldn't be this bad. This dry, this unnourishing. There's something wrong with your thoughts. Some kind of new type of hangover. God, there's another type. Oh yes, party boy. And it's worse than the one before. Just think of the shit you saw. Here it comes too. So soon already, a silent alarm goes off in your head like clockwork. Barely let you sleep at all. Time to get those clothes on, Harry. Time to go to work in the shit factory. Did we shit the bed? Good going, buddy. Oh my god, what the hell was that? I just had the most beautiful dream. Uplifting, rejuvenating. Is that how it's going to be now when I close my eyes? Yes, wait till you see the one with the chick in it. It's going to be a good one. You feel even worse this morning than you did last night. 
What chick? You don't know? Some broad that messed you up. It'll come to you. It always does. What the hell is going on with me? You mean, why are you so tired? T too tired and down to even think? It is worrying, isn't it? You can't be a detective like this. Detectives need to be able to think. Why is this happening? No, that's not it. Really, I feel super good. It's just that your heart has finally pumped all the speed out of your system, Buster. Time to get some more. You're too weak to say no now. Waking up is the worst part. Maybe somewhere down the line you could decline. Wait, what is speed? I need to get it, get more of it then. Detecting is my life, often. No, I can take this. I'm not going to go looking for speed. Speed is a potent central nervous system stimulant. It kept you propped up all day yesterday despite your debilitating hangover. How else did you think you even got up from this floor? It's power, man. It's professionalism. It makes you feel like you're young again and ready to detect, ready to go against the world. Oh, is that why we ran everywhere yesterday? If we don't get more, can we not run for the whole day? No, I can not I can take this. I'm not going to, to go looking for speed. Are you sure? Ready to live as this pathetic shell of yourself for days? Basically a week? Let's be honest. Two weeks, maybe three? You won't make it. Half the town will be dead by then. You will be fired. That's a lie. I can do this without the speed. Half the town won't be dead. Opt out. Suit yourself. Slow, sad, shell man. See how you do without your spark. No, we can still run. Can we fix this again? It's a new day. No. Okay, so a lot of time passed. Did we get our thought done? No. Wow. Hmm, okay. Freaking frickin moron used 120 bits to say stinky boy. Apparently we are stinky cop. Yep, you're right. Stinky cop. Um... Why do we lose authority for the ledger failure and hatred? Let's come downstairs. Okay, so we're on day two of 10, seven? A week or ten? I'm guessing a week or ten. Good morning. Morning. Looks like we can get to work at once. The union muscle turned up. He points to the mess hall doors. They look rowdy. We should talk to them. Why do we need to talk to them? What do you mean rowdy? Are these the men Gart told us about yesterday? I completely forgot. He looks at his notes. Sorry, I had a rough night's sleep. It's them, but it looks a bit loud and nasty, just like the manager said. <clears throat> we leveled up. He crosses something out. One loose thread, less to worry about, and one big problem to replace and one big problem to replace it. Why do we need to talk to them? Everything points to the dock workers union, the belt used for hanging him, tracks in the mud, the circumstances in Martinez, my preliminary information, which may of course, which may of course all be wrong, but we still need to talk to them and it won't be easy. What do you mean rowdy? I mean ungovernable. Martinez isn't exactly enthusiastic about the RCM being here. They prefer to be policed by the union. Those men here, men who drink beer for breakfast. There's talk of an armed wing of the union called the Hardy Boys. Oh man, maybe they should try and solve the crime. Who are responsible for said policing? Oh, there we go. I think it's them. There's so many of them. Maybe we should call in reinforcements. That would escalate tensions. No captain would sign off on it. Solving one murder isn't worth a conflict between the RCM and the DeBarger's Union. In fact, even the death of two detectives might not warrant an all-out war. Let's keep a cool head, okay? Let's roll. One more thing before we do. He glances at the booth again. We don't have to talk to them immediately. We can walk right past them, continue with our business. But aren't you curious to know what they have to say about the murder? They're in no hurry to leave. They think they own the place. Anyway, I leave that choice to you. Whatever you decide is fine by me. Just a moment. The old woman turns back to the cafeteria manager. And there's no public phones nearby. The closest phone booth is down the coast. 
Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. The cafeteria manager appears genuinely apologetic. It's fine. I understand. Thank you anyway. I'm glad to see you again, dear. We have a phone in our car. The lady is distressed. Perhaps something more upbeat might cheer up. Howdy, Lena. What's kicking? No. Good day, ma'am. Everything all right? Sorry, ma'am. I didn't mean to eavesdrop on your conversation. Tell me how I might make it up to you. Please don't trouble yourself about me, sweetie. I was just hoping to make a call, but the Whirling's phone line isn't working. The union office probably has a phone, but I can't really get there. Or to the phone booth down the coast. And Gary's phone is dead too. She sighs. Wait, what's wrong with the phone the line? The was vague about it. She frowns. Why did you need to use the phone anyway? To let the young woman who is house-sitting for us know that we may be delayed. Morel, my husband, and Gary were supposed to be back on Monday night, but they're still missing and I haven't heard from them. Uh-oh. I was also hoping she'd heard from Morel. Did you go look at the corpse hanging from the tree? A little missing person's puzzle might be just the thing to take your mind off the hangover. Okay, I'll bite. Has your husband gone missing before? This sounds more like a side thing. I need to take care of my main thing. Then I'll get back to this. Leave. That's just it. This isn't like him at all. He always plans his expeditions so carefully. But you have more important things to worry about. She glances out the window toward the bay. More important than a missing expedition? I don't know. Expeditions often lead to something interesting. What is this expedition your husband was on? So your husband is some some kind of scientist? Tell me more about Morel, Luke's character, your relationship. Justin Field works, sweetie. Morel is a highly trained scientist. He and his assistant Gary are studying an extremely rare species of insect, but they should have returned by now. They were just going down the coast across the water lock to set a few traps. He said they would be back on Monday. She sighed. What could be keeping them? The water lock that was broken. Could this be it? Uh, do, 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 do. Wait, who's this scary person? Do you trust him? She smiles. Oh, sweetie, it's nothing like that. Gary's as loyal as they come. I trust him in my husband's life any day. Hmm. The water lock on the other side of the coast is broken. They probably just stuck over there. Oh, m oh my, what happened to the water lock? You may not believe it, but it looks like some maniac crashed his motor carriage into it. Yeah, it was us. When you know it's blocked by a big butter billboard, it just fell into the water. Oh, sweetie, if it weren't for you, I'd be looking forward to another sleepless night. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. She turns to Kim. Thank you both. You're welcome, ma'am. She turns back to you. I hate to ask, but if your investigation takes you to the other side of the coast, please do keep an eye out for my husband. This will surely lead to a cryptozoological mystery with that extremely rare insect. Yes, some kind, some left field scientific research is exactly what you need right now. Funk up that vanilla murder investigation. And if you see him, let him know Lena is working, is waiting for him here at the Whirling. He gets so tangled up in his work that he may not know the water lock's been repaired and it's cold out there. If I see him, I'll let him know you're here. Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, you're such a dear. Thank you, sweetie. Okay, can we have some money? So your husband is some kind of scientist. Oh, yes, she says with a pinch of pride, a zoologist, a cryptozoologist to be more precise. It's a pseudoscience that attempts to legitimize research into mythological beasts and urban legends. The lieutenant sounds unimpressed. That's one opinion. Yes, the other people are, and people are entitled to their opinions as long as they're subjective. My apologies, ma'am. I did not mean to undermine your hobby. It's not a hobby, dear. It's a subfield of zoology, one specializing in animal species that are so exceedingly rare that many assume them to be extinct or even fictitious. Searching for such species called cryptids is difficult and often thankless, and frankly, many scientists are too lazy to do it. Universities these days are really interested in supporting real research. What about real research? The quality of research at Rivashalian universities has been on the decline, but you doubt there was ever a time when cryptozoology was embraced by the academic elite. She's completely internalized her husband's struggles. They are her own. Maybe you could convince her to tell you about some cool cryptids. All right, um... Let's keep talking before we do that one. Oh dear, I'm not sure where to begin. What did your husband look like? Hmm, well, his expression is slightly grumpy, but his eyes are always bright and curious, like a small boy's, but his hands are quite coarse from all the field work, but, but he's quite gentle. You can't go around Rivashal feeling growing men's hands. If you want to find her husband, you'll need more concrete information. It's always been a challenge. Sorry, it's always a challenge to describe the person you know best in the world. Let's try again. Why don't you try describing him as you would one of your cryptids? Oh, well, he's a bit shorter than you, but with a larger frame. He has longish white hair, usually a bit uncombed. You might say wild, even. Lieutenant pulls 
out his notebook and begins jotting down the woman's description. <laughs> he's just like, fuck it, I guess we're just going along with it now. One other thing, he'll likely have all kinds of field gear on him, even if he's not out of the raids, you know, just in case how long he'd be married. Uh, we'll be celebrating our 16th anniversary this autumn. Her smile is soft. I figured it would be longer. This autumn, um, her smile is soft. Not the most numerically satisfying anniversary, but I like the less obvious milestones even more somehow. How did two of you meet? Via a dating agency, I'm ashamed to say, oh man, Tinder. I was looking for, I was looking to get back into the scene after recovering from my accident and he just divorced. We hit it off and well, here we are. She smiles wistfully. She skipped over some important parts. Perhaps she'll find, uh, out more later yeah because we're so interested tell me more about this rare insect your husband's looking for oh sweetie it's fascinating she catches herself but i shouldn't bore you with etymolo etymological min minutiae lieutenant gives you a cyber glance no i want to hear about the insect well she hesitates it's a phasmid technically but ah uh, yes phas Phasma tudia, a diverse group of insects whose bodies resemble twigs, leaves, that sort of thing. Ghost insects colloquially. Oh yeah, here comes the interesting. Where other phasmids imitate sticks or leaves, this one's a living reed. It disguises itself among the reeds here on the Insulidian coast. She looks at you in the eye and nods thoughtfully, hence its name, the Insulidian Phasmid. Perhaps you'll end up co-discovering the Phasmid with us, officers. I knew it, Lieutenant Size. We're going to be chasing made-up insects with cryptozoologists. It's not made-up, officer, I can assure you. It's simply elusive, so much so that most establishment zoologists doubt it exists at all. So what makes you think the Phasmid is around here? Well, some teenagers making out in the reeds saw one. They didn't know what it was, of course, but there was a brief article in a local newspaper about their encounter with a ghost insect that looks like the reeds. Gary sent us the clipping. So a newspaper clipping is all the evidence you have. Of course, most Phasmid sightings, sightings turn out to be false alarms, but their description matched the insulidity and Phasmid perfectly, and they didn't even know what they were looking at. So is it dangerous? She chuckles to herself, not at all. Why else would it hide itself so carefully? What? Is it valuable? Oh, I doubt it. No one gets into crypto cryptozoology for the money, sweetie. Does it have cool powers? Yes, it can blend in almost perfectly among the reeds. Her face lights up with the thought of it. It's how it stayed hidden all these... <sighs> these years, centuries even. Damn. Damn, unplayable. Okay, what's this... Okay, what's so special about the stick of bug then move on? Oh dear, I'm afraid I'm not explaining this very well. It is very special. The woman's face flushes with embarrassment. Uh, Moral can explain it much better. I wish you could hear him describe it, then I'm sure you understand it. Okay, all right, here we go. Yeah. There's really no point in manipulating anyone. She'd only be too pleased to tell you about her work. Go on and ask. Hey, Lena, I'd like to hear about some of the cryptids you studied. Could you just tell me about a couple of them? Oh, I'd be delighted. Truth be told, I could really use the company too. Lieutenant throws you one of his looks. One cryptid, not a couple. One. This won't turn into some kind of cryptid extravaganza. Cryptid extravaganza? I like the sound of that. And I, and I don't. Just one. <laughs> Ooh, tough choice there. What's the biggest cryptid? What's the tiniest cryptid? What's the most dangerous cryptid? Are there any invisible cryptids? Let's go most dangerous. The gnome of Choroma. She pauses for effect. The gnome of Choroma, that sounds terrifying. Oh yes, none of its victims survived. Grieving relatives never even found their bodies because the gnome's venom dissolved organic tissue. What does this cryptid look like? It was reportedly a small creature with webbed fingers and a protruding forehead, an ungainly little thing, quite scary to look at. A couple of campers found it when it was already dying. They heard an odd wailing in the woods and followed the sound. They were scared and wrapped it in wrapped it in tarpaulin to suffocate it. She looks at you, her voice grave suddenly. It took the gnome of Gamora an entire day to die. If the body of the creature was found, Lieutenant can't help himself. Why aren't there detailed illustrations of it in science textbooks confirming the existence of this very lethal species? Alas, the first scientist who got his hands on the creature's corpse put it in a jar of formaldehyde, thinking it would de detoxify the gnome's venom. Instead, all the venom leaked out of the creature's teeth and into the surrounding liquid, dissolving the creature itself. A poetic end, perhaps, but a real loss for science, she says, mostly to herself. It's another mistake there. Alas, always alas, and then it was gone. Isn't that overly convenient? Seems very convenient that it was just disappeared and nothing like it was seen again. No, that was a perfectly good explanation. Stop being so skeptical. Sure. A perfectly good explanation. It dissolved in its own venom. Go on then. Ask about about more gnomes or whatever. Okay, let's let's conclude as, as a reward for Kim for giving us the rims. 
Of course, dear. That's all for now. All right. Um, so let's get our perception up. I like perception. All right. Oh, we could have reverted it. Except changes in clothes. Okay, so now that perception's up, we can go try and open that thing again next to the body, right? Let's go do it. Missed the best line in the entire game so much hate. I'm sorry. Perception, sight. Why am I looking at this pile of roofing material? Okay, do we have anything that, any clothes that levels up our perception? Conceptualization, drama, interfacing, rhetoric. Why is Adobe Premiere showed up on my screen right now? God damn it. Uh, is there anything that's, that's lowering our perception? Nope. All right. Yeah. Because there's a secret door hidden behind the panels of a turnite. That's why they're too orderly. Pull the panels aside. There it is. You see a shabby little door. Kim, are you impressed right now? Kim, you impressed? There it is. You see a shabby little door. What is this then? A tool shed? He peeks inside. Let's investigate. Let us detect. We are detectives. A silver plate with traces of bone yellow powder. Be still my beating heart. It's amphetamine. Sweet amphetamine. Lieutenant isn't studying the powder in the mirror. He's studying you. There's a good... There's a good vague way to ask where he stands on drug use. Professionally, I mean. Someone has taken narcotics here. Perhaps the police should interfere. I wasn't thinking about taking it, I swear. I was thinking about justice. I've heard amph amphetamines make you a really good detective. Are you a really good detective? <laughs> Two. Of course, detective. Swift justice. Don't worry. We don't have to investigate every trace of narcotics. Lieutenant points to the ladder in the corner. Yeah, swift lightning justice, faster, harder, justicer. See that ladder there? It's probably another way into the industrial harbor, no? A secret path the local kids use. The poster says, get out of the way or get fucked up. An empty tube, a tube of magnesium, magnesium supplement. A magnesium supplement you rub on your chest to live a happy magnesium rich life. Nice. You always can't, you can never get enough magnesium. Cures pig head. Pig's head looks mummified. Oh, nice. Some money. I'm having fun. Policeman cloak. Looks like someone left his tarpaulin cloak hanging on the railing here. When the wind ruffles the cloak, you can most definitely see a white rectangle on its back. You son of a gun. It's a cop's cloak. The cloak does not concern me at the moment. Yes, it's probably yours. It bears the RCM insignia, and you have a habit of being careless with your equipment. He judges the drop. You could probably make the jump. Ah, oh, you look like you've done some track and field in your day. Look around. The wind is aggressive up here. The lieutenant looks at the enormous crane towering in the distance over the container. Oh man, look at this! Holy shit! 
the look in his eyes is a mix of an engineer-like interest and the wonder of a six-year-old seeing a horse for the first time. Motherfucker, let out a whistle. Now that's a huge crane. It's just a machine, Lieutenant, like a giant hammer or a pair of pliers. Nothing to see here. Let him, let him have this moment of wonder. Now let's just join in. Yes, that's one way of putting it. He turns to you with a faint smile, then looks back at the crane. It's certainly an impressive achievement of engineering. But I digress. We are focusing on your cloak here. It looks... He looks at the sad piece of fabric flapping in the wind. What exactly are we doing up here? I was under the assumption we could ask the leader of the scene to help us get the, this body down. This is why we're here, right? He doesn't wait for you to answer. He looks around, wind rustling his hair. Or it could be that we're just exploring. He's thinking you've forgotten where you are again. Do you really think that the cloak is mine? Should I go for it and jump? The cloak? I do. I think it's yours, yes. As to whether you should go for it, he looks over the edge at the cold pavement below. Well, it doesn't seem too dangerous. Two meters tops. Whenever you're ready to, to do it, I'll be right behind you. The cloak looks like a, ba a bag of like a bag of goodies floating in the wind who knows what its pockets may hide all right this is a white check you may retry you may ret retry it i think our clothes are giving us lower of this right this thing no our our shoes it's better to do this shoeless that's giving minus as well Oh, it's over here. Okay, sorry. All right. All right, so we're doing this pantless and shoeless. All right, here we go. Uh, let's save it in case we die. I don't think we're going to die, though. Might as well jump naked. I like your style. I like your style. With the hat and tie on, though. Forty-two percent. Oh no! <laughs> oh, we we chickened out. Holy wow, that tie doesn't seem dangerous. The lieutenant must be crazy to suggest that. This is certain death. Vertigo almost pushes you over the edge. You could have died there. Shit, 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 shit. I'm failing you. This wasn't part of our deal. Hey, hey, what happened? He sounds genuinely worried. I'm all right, Kim. I, I just can't do it right now. I understand. We can always come back after feeling better. It's just a cloak after all. Aw, oh, man. Is that real? But is it real? Or counterfeit? I'm guessing we open the door when we do that too? Hmm, alright. This door is going to collapse soon. Restoration pillars keep the ruins together. Grand Coron 37. A lot of postcards. Okay, uh, is there anything over here? Oh, there's a, something in the box. What's in the box? Nose of fed. Okay, so I think we're done here. So I think we should probably go talk to the union people and then I think that will be all for this stream. Not enough art challenges. Exactly. I feel like this world is not based around being an artist. Just like real life. Can we take another shot at getting this guy down? I feel like no progress has made this stream. What do you mean? We, we, we got back into our room. We sold Kim's rims. 
We spent 30 minutes saying thank you. <laughs> Speaking of, thank you, Homecoming X, for the 313 sub. Thank you very much. And Yopai for the 213 sub. Sweet chest hair, Yusuke. Thank you. Let me handle this. The woman says to the crowd in the mess hall before turning to you. Detective disorientated. She smiles are coldly. Are you still on the ring where you are? This is Martinez, in case you've forgotten. I advise you not to overstay your welcome. Her entire character has shifted. This young woman is as cold as ice. Ready to sacrifice. You're, you're the gardener. You lied to me. You're not a gardener. I just wanted to, to, to know more about the place before I check, check it out. That's normal. Yes. Extremely normal. I'm not a gardener, by the way. I'm a legal counselor for the Dock Workers Union. She crosses her arms. So let's get to it. You're looking for Titus Hardy. You think he has information that will help you? Maybe he does. She points to the man on her right. That's Titus. Talk to him. But know this. I'll be keeping an eye on you. No strong arming, nothing official. The district of Martinez does not recognize your authority to make arrests. It doesn't matter if you recognize our authority. We will make an arrest if we have to. She says nothing. Her glare speaks for her. What's your role in all of this? Like I already told you, I'm a legal counselor. She crosses her arms. Do you have hearing problems? What if I want to talk to you, not Titus? What you want what you want is of no significance, officer. Don't test your authority. In Martinez, you are no one. What are you going to do to me? Hmm. The lieutenant is not satisfied with the approach. What are we going to do to you? She starts laughing. It's a cold laughter devoid of joy. The union isn't going to do anything to you. It's not a crime syndicate. It's a labor, labor organization. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. A gruff humph from the table. Goddamn right it is. If anything, it is the RCM who do things to people. She takes her head, but we digress. Why are you so aggressive? Aggressive? You make your living enforcing violence. These people are just dock workers. Humph. So you were spying on us, and now you represent murder suspects. Just dock workers. Listen, you moral intern lackeys. You're a mob enforcing the unlawful pri privatization of Rivashal, says the mob. Twenty fat men in the Occident are stealing it all, and you're their bodyguards. Fuck yeah, the tall, broad-shouldered man takes a sip of his beer. Oh my god. Oh, so ask what you came to ask or get back to your commanders. The world needs this financial buffer zone. No need to get emotional. No one is emotional here. Her expression stiffens further. Do your job. Ask your questions and leave. Presentation is not unlawful. It's cool and funny. <laughs> Maybe you're just not historic individuals. I don't know where you heard that, but it's wrong. The RCM is principled and strong, unlike you socialists. I like that. Good start. Let's take it a step further. Armed uprising. What are the union's plans? Yeah, let's do that. Let's ask those questions. Let's talk to Titus. It's a bowl. They're spitting it. Reeking of tobacco. Ah, oh, chewing tobacco. Ah, oh, it's gross, man. You see hawthorn bushes outside. Hmm. Out of... Out bar, our bar, hardy bar. Photos of men in overalls, toting guns, and union placards. Say hi to your mama for me. Okay, Wahlberg, let's go. This is where you say your bit. A broad-shouldered man points at you with a beer can. Detective. The lieutenant acknowledges you with a sharp note. He's leaving it to you. Don't say anything yet. First, we need to talk about your attitude. We need to talk about the hanged man out back. Oh, this is about him? A real looker, that one. Oh, what did you think it was about? You're sure taking your time. Waiting for him to get all ripe and pretty for you. All right, well, I'm sure you're trustworthy guy who's literally named Shanky. Oh, he's a real pretty boy by now. Real hot stuff. Letting out that pretty boy smell. Oh, man, it's man-eating Glenn. Oh, someone just evilly cackled. <laughs> Time to go to work in the shit factory. That's what we heard in our dream. Easy, boys. These janitors have a hell of a job cut out for them. I mean, I wouldn't go in there for a million. He slaps his forehead. You might want to start asking your questions now. 
It's not going to get better than this. These guys are so macho, they're ready to confess to first degree murder. Ask if it was them. Do a head count first. Connect these men to the tracks you saw in the yard. Chances are they're going to match. Scan the room. Starting from the right, boot size 44, blonde man in his 30s, overbearingly masculine, sitting on his right stand, a working boot size 45 or 46, eldest in the room, probably mid 50s, smoker, quiet, across the other table, hobnailed, working boot size 43, gang tattoos, massacre, Simon Mazian, in his late 30s, early 40s. He spent his youth in Villa Bolobo, so housing project in the Jamrock Quarter, there were incarcerations, harder to say what else, the ink is fading, and then standing working boots. Standing working boots, steel reinforced toes, size 46, the big dick, wide at the shoulders and lean at the hips, rugby cap, fingerless gloves, and numerous scars, a little under 40. The emblem on his vest says, Rowing Club, a little patch below it reads, T. Hardy, Captain. In the far corner, standing working boot, seal reinforced, toe size 44, 40 something, non alcoholic beverage, and a handy squint. Is that a plectrum? Where? On his neck. Forget it, it's not important. Let's call this one the musician. And the little guy's horse 41 with a lit, lit step, not a child after all. An older man with a rat face, meaning watery eyes and two front teeth missing. In the middle, heaving and wheezing, big guy, boot size 460. Marks probably carry the victim over. He alone is 130 kilos. That's the man in armor. You could easily exceed with 220. In conclusion, these seven are the actors on the crime scene. The footprints were theirs, but there's a discrepancy. One of them is missing, the odd soul. Exactly, you stood there and... You stood there for about four seconds, not saying anything. Hit them with your questions. Where's the eighth, Hardy? What the fuck is with you, fella? Titus is staring at you with his head tilted. The man hanged in the backyard. Did you do it? I found eight set of footprints, but there's only seven of you. Where is the eighth, Hardy boy? What are you talking about, madman? There's no eighth, Hardy boy. There's seven of us, and we're all here. He sizes you up. Or what? You want to be the eighth, Hardy boy? We aren't. We ain't hiring. Hiring. He shakes his head. Actually, boss, we've been talking and we think she could maybe. This person Glenn wants to hire. He really respects her. Shut the fuck up, Glenn, he roars. I do the talking here and now what the fuck do you want, cop? It has to be good if he won't let you pursue it. it. Looks like the lieutenant thinks so too. So let me get this straight. There is an eighth hardy boy and it's a she and you don't like us talking about her? That's right. We're not talking about this. This is a private hardy boys matter. Nothing to do with your shit. And he points to Kim. You're not cops here. Don't go digging around. If you don't want a bullet in the back of your head, I'm watching you. Good. We're all watching each other. Lieutenant Justice Spectacles. Officer, your question? There's no point in pushing it further, he thinks. This is already a victory. We'll learn more about this eighth hardy sooner or later. The man hanged in the backyard. Did you do it? The pretty boy? He takes a sip from his can. You guys really love talking about that pretty boy. Funny, Lieutenant says without a smile, but my partner and I have a serious matter to discuss with you. Why is there a container belt around the dead man's neck? Why are your boot prints all over the scene? I have spoken to the dead man in a bizarre occult vision. You're involved somehow. I just don't have proof yet. Why are your boot prints all over the scene? You mean these boots? He raises his worker boots, size 46, steel reinforced toe. Yes. We all got a pair, he squints. We wore them the night we, t we took the pretty boy out back and hung him by the neck. Yeah, we did this. He looks, he looks you dead in the eye, together, all of us, until he was dead. That's why our prints are all over the scene. Aha! You, so you just confessed to murder? That's it. The game's over. We got the perpetrator. No, you don't. What you have is seven honest men who thought it forthcoming to tell you what happened, so you don't waste, your t don't waste any more of your time. All seven together, they're diluting responsibility. It's an anti-arrest tactic. You murdered him, just like that. No remorse? Who called the shot, 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 shots that night? When did this hanging incident, incident occur? Why did you kill him? How did you kill him? Then why don't I arrest you? Step closer to Titus. Yeah, that's not gonna work. We have like really low intimidation. You just murdered him like that. No remor remorse. How many people have you sent to the, to the chase? Ever felt remorse for them? Chase Electric is the method of capital punishment in Rivashal under the coalition. During the Suze Reign's reign, it used to be the firing squad or sent them to Reunion to rot for 20 years for life. He says it as if it were worse than dying. In Reunion, what's that? The River Esperance Correctional Facility, a military prison run by the Coalition, dubbed Reunion by the inmates. The origin of the name is unknown. Yes, but these were all bad people. Criminals, scum of the earth. Look, I'm just doing my job, that's all. What we do is different. We enforce the law. You just kill people like it's nothing. Honestly, I drink so much I can't really remember anyone I've sent behind bars. Doesn't remember them. 
the rat-faced man shouts. He just forgets. Are you hearing this, Titus? Ain't no use keeping, keeping a stiff catalog in your head, that's for sure. He wipes his mouth with the back of his hand. Who called the shot, shot, shot? Are you deaf? There will be no singling anyone out. You can't arrest a hardy boy without arresting all hardy boys. All right, well, I mean, let's let's just let's just do that. This is dumb. A shadow of a smirk passes her lips as she tilts her head. Do you think you could do that? Do you think you could arrest them all? Well, they just confessed, so I guess now that we can call for backup and arrest them all? A trick question. Don't let her lead the conversation. Address Elizabeth. I don't have to. One of them was more complicit than others. Address Titus. No, but seriously, who calls the shots around here? Shot, shot. Who do you fucking think does? He sounds more amused and angry. Points to Titus. You do. You give the commands. Point to Elizabeth. I thought she did. Point at Fat Angus. The biggest animal dominates the herd. I'm guessing it's the big one. Bow to the bearded man. Gangs are usually run by the oldest, more venerable, most venerable member. It's the eighth hardy boy, the one who's missing. The big dick. Alright, so what's gonna what's gonna make him go fuck no, I'm in charge the most? I think pointing to Elizabeth. Because they've already had some friction in this conversation. Chat the man's big dick. All right. A moment of silence. The long haired one breaks it. Titus, no one was thinking that there's any question who's the leader. That's how he would have ended it. Titus won't let him. No, no, no. He shakes his head. Fuck no. The big dick is right here, asshole. You're looking at it. He grabs his crotch right fucking here. Disregard the outburst officer. She gives Titus a condescending glance. None of the boys have any more comments on their power relations. That night they acted as one. That's all. When did this hanging incident occur? You don't have to keep answering his questions. The fixer turns to remind Titus. I know, Lizzie. Relax. Ooh, Lizzie. He takes a, sh a sip. We killed him last Sunday night. Seemed like a good way to end the week. How long had you known the victim? Understood. Next question. <laughs> known him? We don't associate with scum like that, asshole. Yeah, who do you think we are? Well, murderers? Like, you Julius Caesared him, so... Quiet. Titus gives Glenn a stern look. He came round about... Three weeks ago, when that Pines cow first sailed in a town, happy? By the Pines cow, you mean Joyce Messier, the representative for Wild Pines? The lieutenant pretends to check his notes. The same company you're striking against? No, he stresses, I mean the Pines cow. The stupid-ass cow they sent in to fuck us over. But you know what? He rubs his chin, pretending to mull over. Is it a literal cow? I hope so. Why don't you ask her about the pretty boy? I'm sure she has interesting things to say when you ask her hard enough. That's enough insinuation for today, Titus. She turns to you. Officer, your interview is drawing to an end. Don't waste your last questions. Why did you kill him? Why? He hisses through his teeth. Because he was worth he was worthless mercenary scum and he stepped out of line in my town. So he was a mercenary, that's it? And he stepped out of line, he repeats, jaw clamped shut like a vice. In my town, what kind of mercenary? The kind that shows up when you start a strike. The experienced kind, too. Had Lee Shim and Semarin, Semarin written all over him. Ex Orange Special Forces. Oh my god, the names. Uh, didn't we conclude that he was dead before he hung? Isn't that something that we, 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 we thought? Maybe they didn't kill him. Maybe they just hung him up and they're just saying that they did. A live grenade, the man spreads his arms right here in our bar. This one has a special gripe with him coming here. I can't prove it, but I know he was sent by with the wild pines. They hire merc shit like that. Story of every strike from here to Samara. Hold on, how do you even know he was in special forces? Because one night he walked straight up to the mic and said, I'm Orangey's goddamn special forces and I'm going to fuck you all. Really? Yeah, really. Had a gin and tonic up there, sang some Orangey's paratrooper song, and said he's gonna fuck everyone. We couldn't believe it either, but he fucking did. Right there, he points to the stage like some kind of animal. Sire, the tale is true. <laughs> I love drama. This is a serious violation of the karaoke code. This is true. Right, but what did he actually do wrong? Okay, besides crimes against karaoke, what did he actually do wrong? Wrong, he roars. He harassed women, raped one, harassed workers, threatened to kill some as a warning. He wipes spittle from his mouth. 
from rape to harassment to threats of violence, why the strange de-escalation? He regrets mentioning it, hopes he didn't notice. To kill us all if we don't open the gates, if we don't let the scabs in, if we don't bend over, he cracks his knuckles, and that was before he started coming here. Yeah, he said it was his favorite joint now, started coming here every night, drinking, grabbing girls, grab one of ours mid-karaoke right there on the stage. He grabs someone, the lieutenant is trying to make sense of this flood of information. Yeah, this girl... This girl's on the mic, a beautiful young girl, young, gets into the second verse of Lover Lake. The fucker grabs her legs, starts screaming, show me your cunt. Why don't you show me your cunt? Then he gets knocked on the head with a wine bo bottle, doesn't even fall down. He shakes his head with disbelief. Was this the same girl who was sexually assaulted? Raped, you said? Okay, then now about the man you killed. Aren't you fucking listening? My man is talking to you. He took care of it. They got the girl out before anything could happen. Anything else could happen. Yeah, me and Eugene got her out. Aren't you fucking listening? He repeats like a parrot. There's something odd here. Seems like they don't want to talk about that rape Titus mentioned. Why not? This is a serious allegation. Make them talk about it. Right, but who did he rape then? This is a very serious allegation. Okay then, about the man you killed. Um, no, let's push it. No, there's a moment of silence. You're not getting a name. That's a Martinese matter and I'm not discussing with you clones. Is it, is it the eighth hardy boy that's a girl? There's nothing you can do for now. He's stonewalling you. How did you kill him? We hanged him up by his neck until he got real still. Wasn't it not obvious, obvious, copper? Didn't they teach you anything at the cop school, idiot? This is where an autopsy would come in handy. You have to work with what you know. We need more. Did you muffle him? We haven't heard any reports of screams. Titus, you don't have to clarify anything. We overpowered him, dragged him unco his unconscious body to the tree, put a noose around his neck, and hanged him till he was dead and steady. Then we left him for seagulls, maggots, and small man... What? Sorry. Then we left him for seagulls, maggots, the small man points to you, and you fucks. Make them a bit more uncomfortable first, then see if it all adds up. Was he a trained killer from Orgenese Special Forces? If yes, then how did you manage to overpower... Well, there's seven, eight of them. With number, yeah, with numbers, asshole. How do you think he looks at the woman? You're right, Lizzie. I've done explaining here. No, he hasn't. Not yet. Where did this overpowering happen? Weren't you fucking listening? The fucker came to our bar. He looks around. It happened right here. All right, forty-two percent. This is a red check. It can't, cannot be retried. I believe. I believe. Send me your energy, chat. Send me energy. I'm closing my eyes. I'm closing my eyes. Damn. Actually, they're admirably, surprisingly composed. The entire room, given how many questions you've lobbed their way. All of them? Maybe one of them is fidgeting, cracking under the pressure. Well, this one. But he's always fidgeting, so don't get your hopes up. Right, I have other questions about the lynching. Like what, copper? Why don't I just arrest you? Step closer to Titus. Yeah, lawman. He takes a step closer as well, fixing his ball cap. Why don't you? It's almost an anthropological sight watching him try to assert dominance over you. Not in the arresting mood, his mean little eyes come alive with hatred. By your side, the lieutenant keeps his hand away from his holster. You hear it, the nylon of his coat hiss as he steps closer. You've confessed to murder. I'm taking you in. I mean... I don't think this is going to end well. I think they might actually just kill us. Like, I want to take the game seriously. I also want to see what would happen, but I also kind of want to take the game seriously. Like, like th this real situation to treat it with this, with like, a as a proper situation. Like, I really do think that they would just kill us. So oh, it's a possibility. Let's back off. Wise move, he leans back against the table, you made the right choice there. Now, make another one and get the fuck out of our booth, we're not going to do this again. So we're going to now conclude the questioning. Nothing. Her reply comes sharp. Your investigation here is done. Leave Martinez, go back to your stations where you belong. I think we're going to stick around, thanks. Some things don't add up here, Titus. The lieutenant closes his notebook. I've done this job for long enough to know that people don't just confess to first degree murder. Even if it's even if it's a group responsibility, we're going to look into this. Good luck with that. He grabs another beer. You've heard everything. Everything a rent a cop is going to hear from us, real law officials. You're lucky you didn't get it. you didn't get a beating. 
Rent-a-cop. So that's what this is about. He doesn't see you as his equals. Scan the room. I want to talk about the hanging again. <laughs> Establish authority. Discuss it, Hardy. Weak when you first met. Alright, 8%. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, close. Fuck. <laughs> Establish authority. Yes, authority. Feverish thoughts race through your mind. First, you tell, you tell me someone's been raped, and then you don't say who. That's bullshit. Stomp your feet. I'm the only <laughs> the only thing keeping this town from going to hell. You're not helping. Point your finger. Turn to Lieutenant Kim. I need your gun. That's it. That's all I got. Did you already did you already try the gun thing? I hear the gun thing is excellent and has great results. You're probably right. The others the others are only there for filler to make the gun thing pop. All right, let's do the gun thing. Why? That's not what he thinks. This is a great idea. Everyone calm down. This is only a demonstration. Turn to Kim. Kim, the gun, please. What in the name of fuck are you doing? But Lieutenant looks worried. He whispers, I don't want to give you my gun. Not after last time. The fuck is happening, Titus? What are they whispering about? Easy Shanks. Leader gestures for him to stand down. I want to see where this is going. I'm not scared anymore. I know what I have to do. Trust me, Kim. I am merely flesh. There's no other way. I know what I'm doing. It's not my first day on the police job. I want to turn back. Trust me, Kim. I am merely flesh. Merely what? He doesn't ca quite catch the last word. A brief moment passes in silence then. Be careful, it's loaded. He unholsters and gives you his firearm. It feels oddly light and buzzing in your hand like a funny toy. What the fuck, Kim? Good. Now put it in your... <laughs> But I want to point it at them. Put the barrel in your mouth. But I want to point it at them. I want to point it at them. Fa, quit your whining. Everyone knows how to do that. You're a special man. You're going to point it at yourself. Go ahead, show them. Put the barrel in your mouth. Morale critical. What are you doing? The short, cold barrel touches your lips. It tastes like iron and hell. Fellas, this, the big guy glances over shoulders. You getting any of this? These are my thoughts. This is my head. You will never forget what happens in five seconds. If you don't respect me, you better get ready for fucking, to fucking respect me in five, four, three. I'm not fucking this case up. Finger on the trigger. You will respect me. <laughs> I'm going to kill myself now, you fucking whore. Pull the trigger. <laughs> Give the gun back to the lieutenant. Oh. Can you save mid-conversation? No, you can't. I mean, I don't I don't want to do five. I want to take the game seriously, but like it's end of stream. It would be a fun way to end the stream and then we just reload it tomorrow or whatever. And and uh, I can do it before stream starts tomorrow. It's not going to end, is it? There's no way. Deranged cop kills himself. Citizens in shock as a deranged law official reportedly from the 41st precinct shot himself in the head last night in the middle of a crowded cafeteria. <laughs> No townery, we sure showed them. The exact details of the incident have not been revealed, but first time witness claim witnesses claim the officer was making a point. <laughs> Can't say I'm surprised. Lawrence Gart, a manager of the Whirling and Rags cafeteria, where the incident took place, commented he was extremely unstable and had threatened to kill himself before. We showed them. Oh my god. Alright, that's it from me, everybody. Before we go, thank you to Spaghetti Master 420 for the new sub with Prime. Welcome to Prime Time, Spaghetti Master 420. Welcome to the Pickle Pile. Also, welcome to the Pickle Pile to Arara Deterno. Welcome to Prime Time. Thank you very much. Thank you both for the new subs. Oh, check where the last save was. Where was the last save? Oh my god. Oh. Wait, do we get to do the jump again? Save before all combos? I really should. I really should. Is this... Did we do the jump? Alright, this counts as saves coming now, doesn't it? Alright, we'll fail again. It's fine. Yeah, there we go. We failed again.
Are we dying or are we good? I think we're good, right? Yeah, we're good. All right, okay, so we saved it. All right, so I I might do that conversation again off stream or maybe we'll go through it again and try those stupid fucking intimidate tricks again. I don't know, for fun. But that's kind of safe coming. I don't want to do that. Anyway, um, so I shall see you guys tomorrow. We'll continue the game and then we'll do some more on Thursday and then that's it for streams for the week. Um, if you guys start getting tired of this, then we will stop playing it. But it uh, seems like everyone's enjoying it so far. So I think we'll continue until until we finish it. Um, at the rate we're going, I'm pretty sure this game is going to last until until the Witcher video is out. Um, like, I, I don't know for sure, but that's, that's how it appears to me, glasses. Um, I'm guessing that we have at least two two weeks of this left, so um, we'll see, at least. Anyway, so I'll see you guys later. Have a good rest of the day. And if you weren't here before... Whoa, scary! Whoa, it's growing bigger. Whoa. Uh, anything I missed throughout the stream or anything like that? Anyone like have a question that I asked repeatedly that I didn't answer real quick before, uh, before I go? I'm gonna guess no, usually they're spammed at the end. Your thoughts on it? I'm enjoying this game a lot so far. I like it. I still like it. I I, I haven't I haven't changed my thoughts. I still like it. I, it hasn't gotten better, it hasn't gotten worse. Because I still like it. I missed your stream, but I'm glad you like the song. Even if you missed the hidden pickle, it's based on a meme where people make the same remix out of pretty much anything. Thanks, Moxus, I did like it. All right, see you guys later. Wait, hold on. Review requests queue. Only one Ayaya refund today. Ayaya, Ayaya. One for the road chat. One for the road. <laughs> <laughs>